Hello, friends. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I had to clear up a little bit of space on my memory card so that we actually had, you know, room to save <laughs> the game today. I'm just glad that I remembered to do it because otherwise, yeah. I mean, the game probably would have warned us, like, as soon as we started up that, hey, you know, you don't have enough free space to save or whatever. But, like, imagine it didn't, man, and we play for... Uh, even if it's, a, like, an hour, you know, we play and then just can't save <laughs> you just have to start over i mean i do have memory card slot two still i guess like probably could have made that work or whatever uh, as long as this game's compatible with like third party big memory cards or whatever but like yeah <laughs> if it didn't that would have really sucked so i'm glad that i ended up remembering because if i didn't then bleh bleh bleh, bleh. but is is okay is okay remembered um yeah, it's Valentine's Day for anybody who sees this live or today or whatever. So, happy Valentine's Day to people. I did not mean to hit continue, by the way. I do not still have the old save. Um, Noodle and I, we went and got some food and then did a little bit of shopping together. Nothing, you know, crazy, just normal stuff. I don't... Do we want speedy time progression? Map display density. One is one the highest density, or is three the highest density? I guess we'll just leave it on two for now. Yeah, show everything. I'm a big fan of just like UI vomit, you know, <laughs> just like give me, give me all the stuff. I'm fine with that. We'll just leave everything on default, I guess. I don't remember like whenever we played this game for the PS2 Gauntlet. I don't remember if we changed any settings or not. I think we more or less left it, you know, just normal. Um. Anyways, yeah, happy Valentine's Day to people. That's what I was going to say. And uh, I feel like there was something else, but brain go burr, so I don't remember. A book was found in some old ruins. All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mysteries of the book. A world with two moons illuminating the sky. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. But whether or not this is a true story... Do you believe in the story woven in the book? Maybe it's a fantasy that's existed only in a boy's heart. Let me tell you this story this ancient book tells of. A magical. <laughs> I hate the random, like, the weird pauses. It did pretty good so far, but... Magical and magnificent. Fairy tale. I guess maybe it's like trying to put emphasis on it, but... Don't like. And the hero of this wondrous tale, whose name is... Do we go default or do we just go stream? I'm probably gonna do stream. Uh, delete. Here we go. S T R E A M. Dope. Decide. What's the profile? Boy from Nurune. <laughs> okay. Alphabet numbers, symbols, ah, then default. Can we, is it, can we like change our profile at some point or something? It's weird, the profile thing. I mean, maybe like, I don't remember a ton about the game and we didn't get super far in it to begin with. Maybe you get other characters or something at some point. I don't know. Ah. Almost forgot about this beautiful intro. Hope y'all like dancing. We gonna see we gonna see some dancing here in a second. It's such a weird start to a game, man. He just comes completely out of left field, you know? Gather quite a few of them. I had a hard time finding dancers with the right qualifications. Look at them. Look at the dudes. Their dance of blood, of mixing the blood of witches with that of humans is the key to breaking the seal. However, I do have some problems. Don't we all, though? In order to procure good material, you do need adequate... I see. I'll pay you extra. That should solve your problem, huh? Yes, sir. Thank you. So when will it happen? Very soon, sir. Let us enjoy the ceremony till it is time.
Imagine like one of them just messed up the dance. Like scanning through them all now. <laughs> it would be, I, don't know. I mean, I already know what happens. Obviously, it doesn't like mess anything up, but it would be hilarious to me if one of them was just dicking off somewhere in the background, completely screwing it up. Freaking bop going, man. I do hope by actually playing through the game this time, we get a little bit more of, like, the lore. Because I don't really understand anything <laughs> of, like, what's going on. You know the legend, Flag Sir. Of course, how much money do you think I put into acquiring this urn? I've been waiting for this for years, and now it's, it's legendary power is mine. Four hundred years ago, the genie of darkness appeared in the east, and with its evil power, the world was burnt away. What do you intend to do with such frightening power in your hands? I mean, obviously it didn't, like, burn the entire world away since you're here. <laughs> like, and if it was able to be stopped then... Then what makes, like, these evil people thinking it'll be unstoppable this time? I never understood that with pretty much any kind of fantasy movie where they're searching for some, like, ancient, dark, evil, or whatever, you know? Like, if it was stopped once, obviously it's possible to stop. So it's just gonna happen again, dude? I don't know. Maybe it'll be different this time. Maybe the entire world will be burnt. And then everybody will be dead, the genie will be all alone and bored, because that sounds like a great existence, right? <laughs> World domination plots, I can understand. World destroying plots, I just do not follow. They never make any sense to me. Hello, Godzilla. This is the genie? What? Well, it's quite different than I imagined. What'd you guys imagine? Do you see the size of that urn? Do you think he was gonna be like person sized? Ancient Dark Genie, this is it? No, definitely not it. We just did the Blood Witch Sacrifice Ritual Dance for nothing. Like, or they did, I guess. We weren't a part of it, I hope. Uh, maybe we were the bad guys all along. I haven't eaten in 400 years! Damn, I have to get something to eat. I need food. Food. <laughs> I found myself a snacky snack. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, my God. Yummy. Bro, what are you gulping for? This genie just saved you, like, God knows how much money that you were supposed to be paying this guy. He did you a favor, man. So we're celebrating the vanquishing of it 400 years ago, right? Is that what's going on here? I don't quite remember. I know I know it's a celebration for something. I don't think it's just like a harvest festival or anything normal. I think it has something related in some in some way. Hey, how are you? Stream, it's already started. Come on, let's go. Oh, they said it twice, okay. See see I told you you should have hurried. We're late, I'm a staff member this year, so I have to go. Sorry. No, she left you. You better hurry up, stream. I'll think about it. Mom. Was that broccoli soup? That looks like broccoli cheddar soup. Kind of want some, even though my stomach's a little messed up. I'm not going to lie. Broccoli cheddar soup sounds <laughs> wonderful. I just like soup, though. It doesn't really even matter what kind of soup. I just like soup. It's a good soup. I want to taste it. Aw, look how happy we are before everything goes to hell. 
everyone we've ever known or loved just disappears, you know? It's, sorry, spoiler alert? My bad. <laughs> we got some good dancers in the village here, dude. It's definitely related in some way, right? What are the chances? I think they explain it. I don't remember, though. It's been... Maybe a year? Since we played this game on the PS2 Gauntlet? It's been a while. Oh, it's E.T. He's come to say hello. <laughs> Look at the insects squirm about. Start there. I'm guessing the genie, like, has to listen to him or something. Because, like, why else would he, you know? But it doesn't make sense to me, because he's not even the one that did the summoning. You would have thought the, the little dude, the one that got all the dancers together and figured out about the ritual, all that shit, you would have thought he would have ended up being the master. Maybe he just, like, attaches himself to the most powerful person in the room when he's born or something? I don't know. The dude that's leading him, I mean, he looks like he probably is the general of, like, some sort of military or some BS. I don't know. Bro, you better run faster than that. Oh, she dead. We both dead now, though. At least we died together. I guess that's something, right? <laughs> I kind of feel bad for the genie. All his little snacks disappeared. Didn't he for 400 years got literally one mouthful of something and then nothing? Hello there. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Wake up. Hey! <laughs> Get up! <laughs> I'm talking to you here. Hello, old man. <laughs> I am the Fairy King. I'm the entity that unites all of nature's spirits. Listen well, young ones. Something bad has happened. Men blinded by greed have revived the Dark Genie. Dark Dreamy... Dreamy? This Dark Dreamy is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it could destroy the entire world. You saw it. Your own village being destroyed right before your eyes. Not just your village. In a flash, many villages and towns were being destroyed. One night, half of your world was annihilated. Oof. One night, bruh? So does that mean the next night everything's dead? Thank you for the five bits, Snoodle. Appreciate you, love. Must be the men from the east that perform the resurrection ceremony, probably thinking to use its black demon power for war without realizing how frightening it is. It is darkness, pure darkness itself. Long ago, this so-called dark genie almost destroyed the entire world. Its malevolence is that great. The bad thing is that it has the same type of magical powers as us spirits. Fortunately, we aren't as powerful... We aren't powerful enough to destroy it. Man, I see that you have a strong will that could withstand the evil power, and also a clear, kind heart. Might be able to fight against this darkness that it generates. Decide to stake our fate on you. Let me bless you with power. Didn't you just say that you guys aren't powerful enough to stop them? So, well, I mean, maybe we have to, like, collect the power? There, surprise? That's called a... a, a, a Atlamilia. <laughs> Is that really? A-T-L-I-M-I... L-L-I-A. Atlamilia. Yeah, I guess so. It's a stone with magical power. Oh, don't look that way, boy. I'll explain now. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. Is she a little bright, dude? Just a wee bit, not gonna lie. You know where this is. This is no simple empty plot. This was your village. But do not lose heart. As long as you have that stone, you can return it to its original form. See, just before the village was destroyed by the genie, I saved the buildings and people by sealing them into spheres called Atla. It seems that these Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magical power. They were probably blown to different places around the world. It probably thinks everything is destroyed. You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. Absorb so that which I sealed in Atla, using that Atla Milia, and <laughs> bring them back. Then you'll be able to restore the world to its original form. You may even be able to create an even better world than before. I still don't really understand this part of the game. It's such a weird mix. City builder meets... 
dungeon crawler? <laughs> like, hmm. You don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. Oh well, give you another lesson when you acquire some Atlo. Yeah, I really don't get anything you're saying, old man. But it's fine. I wonder, like, with the city building thing, I wonder how necessary it is. I mean, I definitely plan on doing it at least a bit, but, like, do we need to lay it out nicely? I'm going to try to, of course, but I'm wondering, like, do certain, certain, do certain houses being next to each other, like, next to the river or something, give them bonuses? Or can we just place things wherever we want because we think it looks nice? I'm very curious how that all works. Stream, can you hear them? You should be able to hear them. Voices of the wind, voices of the trees, the animals, and the earth. They're all calling for your help. You'll probably meet and say goodbye to many people. Talking to these people, you may receive clues to defeating the darkness. Look for them. Now, Stream, your adventure begins. Many thank, old man. No rune village. Kind of weird that it's called no rune with the like giant cave system that we have the giant seemingly infinite cave system that we have i feel like there's probably at least one or two runes in there do we have anything that we can build like right away georama no move, remove analysis okay that's like some sort of goal thing might as well go ahead and start a save file up for us I'm super excited. I've mentioned it before on stream, but I'm getting one of the uh, Memcard Pro 2s, the ones for the PS2. It's basically a memory card that lets you save SD to an SD card. Uh, a virtual, a bunch of virtual memory cards, more or less, sort of thing. Anyways, point is, I'm super excited. It just hasn't come in yet. Um, but once it does, that's going to be like my main way of saving games, because I'll be able to back them up much more easily. And if OPL can launch, like, actual discs, then I can use that to also automatically create and manage memory cards for me for all the games that I play, both on and off stream, so that'll be super handy. Okay, we can use R1L1 for camera look. That's nice. We have first person, but we can't move. Good to know. Arrow keys do absolutely nothing, it doesn't seem. What's select do? All that. Duh. Ah! Select walking mode. Oh. Oh, and it teleports me? That sucks. And then pause just pauses. Okay. I mean, I guess it's a handy way to get across town if we need to get across town real quick. <laughs> Say that much at least. Hello, Mayor. You look a little down today. Stream, you're alive! Seems like we're the only ones in the village that survived. We never dreamt this had happened. One night and our village is gone. Can you believe this? I feel so helpless. I, the mayor of the village, can't do anything about it. What am I supposed to do now? Yeah, don't worry, man. Apparently I'm the chosen one. I'll save the world. Don't worry. Every video game has, I mean, every town has one. <laughs> Because the only thing we can do was to get help from the guardian of No Rune Village, Drawn. Drawn will not abandon us. He'll help us for sure. I have a favor to ask. Go to the Divine Beast Cave and tell Drawn what happened. Divine Beast Cave is the cave outside. Maybe imagining things, but I think I sense some wind coming from there or something. I don't know. Cave key acquired. I put the things you might need in your bag for you. Don't get carried away. If you get in trouble in there, come back here and I'll get you some more supplies. Good luck. Thank you, old man. Can we, is like, do any of the buttons? Maybe like activate. I was hoping we could like have people's names and stuff just kind of popped up all the time. Doesn't seem like that's really an option though, which I mean, fair. And nothing seems interactable. I'm sure he is, but he already gave us stuff, so I don't think he'll have anything else for us to do. Might as well just go straight to the dungeon, then. I don't see anything else to do in here. Can't really build anything yet. We can just go straight to the dungeon, I think. Um, do we have to hit... Do we have to be down here for it? No. Wait, what? 
Can we not? I could have swore we could just go straight to the dungeon. Didn't that pop up just a moment ago? <laughs> like, go to dungeon? It does now! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Whatever. Okay, he gave us tasty water. Uh, nearly quenches thirst. Bread for health. Recovers WHP of weapons. Okay, so... Weapon... Stamina? Weapon... Whatever you want to call it. Escape lets us run away. Antidote cures poison. We have a dagger and nothing else. I do remember that there's something with, like, weapons leveling up as a thing in the game. I don't really remember how that works, though. So we can get allies at some point. That's cool. Oh. Wait, is this not the dungeon? Oh, shoot. <laughs> on the wrong side. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. Go to dungeon. Only the dungeons visited before. Oh, well, never mind. We walk in. It's fine. Day one dusk. There is the whole time progression aspect. I wonder if that really matters at all. Maybe, like, certain creatures are more powerful at night, or, or there's some that only come out at night. But I guess we only really do combat in... The dungeons, so you wouldn't think the time of day outside would really matter that much in this sealed off magical dungeon thing. I could certainly be wrong though, man. What do I know anyways? Yeah, basement one. It's fine. Zero of eight, whatever collected. I'm guessing that's number of deaths, the little like onk looking symbol. Red zero. I think we get a bit more of an explanation, yeah. It's gonna say down here. It's for real this time, stream. From here on, you will be put to the true test. First, conquer this wretched divine beast cave and find Dran's lair. That's your first task. Since you're a beginner, I'll give you a lesson on how to fight in the dungeon. First, to advance to the next floor in a dungeon, acquire a gate key for the door leading to the next floor. Each dungeon has a different gate key for the divine beast cave. Dran's crest will be the gate key. Gate key is almost always carried by a monster in the dungeon. You must defeat the monsters to acquire the gate key. Since you can't tell which one, you'll just have to defeat them all. Next, I'll tell you about how to return to ground level rather than advancing to the floor below. To return to ground level, mind connect with me. In other words, speak with your mind. When you do this, I will transport your body to the ground level and just select leave dungeon from the main menu. I love these little animations, man. These little, like, hand-drawn random pictures throughout. It's beautiful. Beware, if there are monsters left on the floor, the Mind Connect won't work. It'll be blocked by their evil energy. I hate their evil energies. In this case, use the escape powder. The village chief has lots of it, so just ask him for more. You can also Mind Connect with me when you go through the gate to the next floor. And when you re-enter the dungeon, you can start at the next new level, so you don't have to worry about losing progress. Next, for weapons, be aware that weapons are breakable. The more you use a weapon, the more it wears, and finally it breaks. Broken weapons will disappear. To prevent weapons from breaking, use the item repair powder. Restore their like, status, whatever. WHP. I don't weapon HP, I guess. The longer you use a weapon by repairing, the more magic it absorbs from monsters and thus becomes stronger. It's said that when a weapon reaches its full strength, it can change to a more powerful form. Keep that in mind. Oh, I cast a special spell on the dagger you have, so it'll never disappear. But all the new weapons you will get during the quest will disappear once they break, so be careful. Don't waste your hard work by letting a weapon break and disappear. Finally, the important stuff. The sphere Atla, where I protected... Sorry, excuse me. Atla, where I protected and sealed the fragments of the world. If you see an Atla that doesn't hesitate, don't hesitate to touch it. You can absorb the contents of Atla into Atlamilia by touching it. When you return to the surface, you'll be able to reassemble your village. Today's lesson ran a little bit long, so just show me what you can do, stream. Mm, many, many thank old man. Um, okay. So now that we're in here, do any of these buttons change anything? That changes, like, whatever up there. Ow. Oh, good, we're poisoned. Does poison ever end, or do we have to use an antidote? I do remember that there's, like, stuff. Like, uh, 
I can't remember what they're called. Fountains or whatever you want to call it. I guess go ahead and use that. There we go. That like restore our health and things at least. Hmm, I see there's a little speed gauge. So we do have like some kind of stamina thing. What happens if we change this to three? Does it get bigger or smaller? I was hoping there was a hotkey to just like change it. I can't tell. Honestly, it kind of looks the same. Let's follow the left wall here for now. I wonder if we can turn down the sensitivity of the camera. It's kind of kind of wild. Do we have any other attacks or is it only X? Man, I don't remember. Macho's house acquired. Hell yeah. I think we need to find Macho too though, don't we? I think we don't just get like the person by getting the house. Bruh, why am I like randomly turning around while trying to attack these people? <laughs> just attack that dude backwards. Is that the thing? Hey, we already got the thing, but no, we wanna we wanna explore a little bit more first. What other options do we have? Is there like any camera options? Cause it really is kind of wild. Enemy HP, display character name, far side fo soft focus. <sighs> Off? That just sounds like blurring. And why would I want it to be more blurred? Never been a big fan of blur. Did that make it smaller? I don't know. Oh, is that the opacity? I think that has more to do with the opacity. Use item with square. Uh, since it said it was rusty, I'm guessing we need some oil or something. I do remember like we can go into new areas of the dungeon by, by riding things like that. I think you can also like blow up cave walls or something as well. There's a couple different things you can do. Just to find more creatures, more items, etc. Do we have like a lock on button? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it, sadly. That would be super helpful, man. Hope not. Hmm. I feel like there was some sort of option like that before, but I'm not seeing it now. I'm pretty sure I do have the manual for this game. If I need to, I'll look it up, but... Oh, cool. We got the compass, and so we know where everything is in the dungeon now. We could, like, straight run away, but... If we don't, we can, you know... Collect more stuff, level up, etc. Got some trees. Okay, so 37 out of 70. That must be... That's not my health, is it? Can I see, like, status? Okay, our thirst looks like it's okay. Drop item here when used on weapon. No weapon okay yeah so it's out of it's 14 out of 48 so we do need to use some repair powder on it so it doesn't break I don't see any way to just like check our status hmm that's too bad so I'm, I'm assuming that's health then. So let's just use this. Okay, yeah. That's health. And then I'm assuming for the repair, it's probably every hit cost one, one point. 
That would make the most sense to me. Whenever we come across the next enemy, I'll just like, keep an eye on it. Now, our dagger never disappears, so we don't have to worry about that, but I'm assuming it still either gets weaker or becomes useless whenever it runs out of stamina. I'm sure there's something to it, and it's not just free. Glad we got that compass. You know, that's empty. Got a carrot? That's probably more food. This looks like a big chest. What's in you? It's locked. Forcing it open may activate a trap. Noodle 0519 just redeemed hydrate. Thank you, Noodle. Oh, wait, you hydrated. That's not what I thought it was. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you for the hydrate then. Ah. Uh. Is there any reason not to force the chest open by guessing the trap? Sure, whatever. Oh. So if we know which one it is, then I'm guessing it doesn't activate. Otherwise, it activates. Uh, it must be an explosion. Successfully release the trap. Let's go. Get wrecked, chest. Bone rapier. Seems like a fancy weapon. I can't help wonder, though, like, if if this is one of those games where... Oh, no. What'd you do? <laughs> Bo's looking fancy, love. Very fancy. What's he saying? Oh, I can't help but wonder if this is one of those games, though, where... Um, like, the starter weapon becomes, like, the most powerful weapon. If you keep using it and leveling it up and... All of that stuff, you know? Was that one? That might have been two per hit even. Not... What were we at? We were at 14. I think we had three times. So maybe it's like one and a half dur durability. That's the, the word I've been looking for. Oh, carrots are fish bait. Never mind. Not what I expected. Okay, we'll go ahead and fix our dagger. What's the other weapon that we got? I mean, this one's about to level up. Fairly easy to use default weapon. Made a bone, ability unknown. I'm gonna finish leveling up this one once, I think, the, the starting dagger, and then I'll switch over to the rapier, maybe. Just to give it a shot. Got a camp. Okay, so yellow, the yellow dot on the mini map, that's probably the exit. Like down to the next level or whatever, right? But we want to explore everything first. So we'll go this way. Murder these two dudes. Get the other Atla that's over there. Of course we got poisoned again. Dagger is now full. You can... Or dagger is full. You can now upgrade it. Current equip customize. Oh, that's right. We can unlock, like, different things to give it elemental abilities or whatever. I vaguely remember that being a thing. Attributes. Remove. Give holy? Oh, that's cool. You can turn it on and off. That's pretty handy. Might as well leave it on for now. And then upgrade. Confirm? Yes? Why would you not upgrade? Huh. I wish I knew what these different things were here. We see under customize, equip, no. AT I'm assuming is attack, ED endurance? So like how much WHP it has maybe? SP probably speed, MP magic power? So 15, 20, 80, 30. So this seems like it's just better in every way except for endurance, which makes sense because of, you know, made of bone change weapons to a different weapon? Items still required for building are indicated in red. Oh. 
Never mind, I don't really get it. <laughs> I'm sure we'll figure out more about that later. Let's go ahead and equip that one, though, for now. Let's try it out. Why not, right? We really need something to deal with this poison. That would be really nice. Um, might as well kill the bat. We can't be poisoned twice, I don't think. Oh, nice. We one-shot the bat. Go! Oh, do enemies ever drop things? That I don't remember. I'm really hoping, like... Thirst reaches limit. Health is beginning to deteriorate. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Item. We did bring some water with us. The only problem is we don't have any way to restore our health. Which is why I'm like, maybe we should just go down. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a fountain? Yes. Okay. Did that cure our poison too? No. Just our health. That's kind of too bad. They do drop things. It didn't say what, though. What did he drop? Oh, maybe it was just gold. Maybe that's why it didn't say anything. Fair enough. Cover health and thirst here. And so I didn't even have to use my water. Will poison automatically recover going to the next floor, maybe? Uh, use the key. Oh. Can't just walk down it. Gotta activate it. Use X. Um. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the next floor. But, if we're still poisoned when we enter the next floor, then I think if I just leave and come back the poison will be cured, right? I don't think we can be poisoned on the overworld. Is a kitty! Hello, kitty. Oh, my watch is locked. And kitty gone. Okay, no, we are still poisoned. Do we get a free heal by going up too? Oh, wait, that's right. We can't leave a floor. Shoot. Unless there's no enemies left on the floor. Forgot about that. Um, We do have the escape powder. So, like, if we don't get... Man, I really... Shoot. Open the chest. <laughs> Tasty water. What was that? What are you? Are you a trap or a good thing? Oh. Weapon. Oh. So we just get a free upgrade on it? Yeah, bless me. I still don't understand why we wouldn't want to use the upgrades as soon as they become available. Like, why would you ever skip that? That cheese? Is cheese food? Keg? Okay. I also wonder, do we ever get, like, a shop? Because there are little gold coins, so presumably at some point we will unlock a shop, right? Is there, like, a fountain anywhere around here? Because we really need to restore our health since I can't seem to get an antidote to save my life. Magical crystal. That's probably how we, like... Or no, 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 no. Okay, that's the compass. Gotcha. Okay, we definitely need to leave. Yeah, no, we're, we're gonna die. So, item... Escape powder. Having this allows an escape from dungeon with command. Okay. Wait, how do we... How do we use it? Maybe we go here. Use escape powder in the dungeon. Yeah, okay. Yes. I mean, we were going to die. We had, we were poisoned and we had no antidotes. So I don't think we had much of a choice except for using the powder. I didn't see, granted I'm blind, but I didn't see any, whatchamacallit on the map. 
the uh, the fountain areas that could have healed us temporarily, but it seems like you finally come back with some Atla. Very well, then I shall teach you as promised. The drawings, though. It's my favorite part of the game. The pieces sealed inside Atla are released by touching the Atla with your left hand, where the power of Atmilia resides. Building some people that were sucked into the Atla Atlamilia will be restored to their original form. Once you bring them back to the ground level, you can arrange them as you wish. By going back and forth between the dungeon and ground level, you can restore the earth to its original form. That's your mission as the one who was granted the power of Atlamilia. Now, let us move on. This may get a bit technical. If you want to place buildings, etc., press the button to go into edit mode. Return to normal mode with the same button. Edit button, you can reassemble buildings and place them on the ground. Seeing is believing, try it yourself. Might be faster than listening to me. Oh, and if you ever forget the things I teach you, use this. Is a book. Read it, dummy. <laughs> Manual can be selected from main menu. I'll leave you to the reconstruction of your world. Thanks again, dude. It's been very helpful. If I go in here now, am I healed? I am. Okay. So yeah, all poison and all of that stuff leaves, like, as soon as we leave. Very handy. Um, Gira oh. Yeah, Georama menu. Config and assemble. So I don't know where to put, like, any of the roads or anything yet. It feels right to me. Are, like, bridges a thing? I don't know if bridges are a thing. It would feel right to me, though, depending how many we have. We only have five. Oh, of course we can't, like, line it up. Bro. <laughs> Why would it not line up with that? Okay. Well, you know what? I guess. Can turn camera. Where's the dungeon opening? And you can't, like, line it up with any of this stuff, can you? And we only have, like, five roads. Maybe we get more later. And then I do remember there's, like, yeah, the river. I mean, they did say something about fishing, so maybe, like, this lets us do that. Can we make a pond out of the river? No. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay. How to remove? How how remove work? Where? Okay. Let's try that again. I mean, I guess we don't really need any of that stuff right now. Let's just, uh... Also serves as watchtower. Okay. Macho's house. Macho brother's house. Where's the entrance? Oh, the stairs there. Um, how close can we get you to the wall? That's all the closer. Sure, place. And then, Macho likes his name, never skips training. Bought a little powerhouse. Egg, fence, lamp. I don't know, man. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so we can, like, level up houses or something over time, it seems. Spins by wind. Useful for rivers. So, ladder or bridge? Useful for rivers. It looks like a ladder, but I don't know. And then that must be, like, the actual windmill part of it. Uh, And then this other stuff I don't think we can do anything with yet. We probably need to collect more stuff. But, can I still put down the windmill? Can I put it over here? No. Literally can't put anything over there. Okay. I mean, having a watchtower in, like, the center-ish of town makes sense to me. I mean, we can just move things later, right? Yeah. I guess it's not a big deal. We're just there. <laughs> That's an excellent place for it. Love it. And then trees. We really can't put anything over there, huh? Sure, Macho gets some trees. And, um... Some river. He can, he can live next to the river. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, you know what? 
here. He can have some road by his house, too. Next to the river. They can run parallel. And maybe we can fit another house here once we unlock another one. Now, presumably, since we don't have all the parts yet, there won't actually be anyone here. I can't climb the ladder. Can I do anything? Ooh. Oh, I was hitting the square button, since that's how you use buttons, hoping that, like, we could use the carrot to fish. But no. Maybe we have to get a fishing pole or something. Hello, Macho. Stream, I miss you, man. Your smile really brightens my day. You see my big bro. Tell him you didn't see me, okay? I'm counting on you. Um, tell me how to rebuild your house. Look, don't forget to expand my room and the barbell. Put that outside. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I didn't mean to ask that. Shit! Not trying to ask the same thing over and over again. How to rebuild your house. Don't forget to expand my... Okay, I think that's the only hint he's going to give me. How should I rebuild Naroon? Fighting is what a man should live for. It's a basic fact of life. Okay, so you're really not helpful at all. But you do have some bread outside for me. Let's go. Give me that bread, bro. I guess it's nice to have another house here, just in general. Can't do anything there. That's the exit, I guess. I was trying to check, like, the other doors and things, but I'm kind of dumb, so whatever. Let's go talk to the, to the mayor. Getting some more escape powder would be super helpful. I still just feel like no matter where I put things, it's in the kind of the wrong spot, but... I only hope is Dran. Dran has always watched over us. I'm sure Dran has watched us this time, too. But really, this time, even Dran's windmill, where Dran's magic power dwells, is destroyed. Okay, so basically, you're telling us we need to get the windmill restored. Some items you'll be needing in your bag. Okay, that's what I was here for. Just hoping for some more escape powder. Yeah. Very good. Defense power. Eating favorite food increases it. I wonder what our favorite food is. The cheese? Cheese is one of my favorite foods. I really like cheese. We got escape powder and antidote now, so we can go back down into the dungeon and see about murdering some dudes. Hoping for the best. Oh. What is the... What is that? This macho? He's just... Okay, yeah, he's just not spawned in. That's fair enough. And maybe once we get the ladder or whatever for this, we'll actually be able to climb it and do something with that. That would be pretty sick. Boom. Uh, he did say we can like teleport to the second floor directly, right? We don't have to like. Yeah. Okay. Because we got everything on the first one. Okay. So that's not the number of our deaths. That's the number of like beasties that we killed on that floor. Now, does the layout stay the same? No. It does appear to be randomized every time we come to it. Which is what I expected. Is this the exit already? Damn, okay. And our, our thirst. Did that regen? It doesn't look like it. Unless we always start with two. Oh, free money? Thanks, game. I still don't know, like, what money's used for. Presumably, we'll unlock shops at some point. Can we do, like, a special attack? We can. Oh, that uses durability, though, even if we don't hit anything. Okay. Good to know. And it'd really suck if we, like, powered up a sword super high and then... It broke. Standing powder? Okay, well, two things. One, we definitely need to use the repair powder. Otherwise, this thing's gonna broke. 
broke break. What the hell is stand-in powder, though? Change to ally when current character's exhausted. Oh. Yeah, I can see that coming in handy. We don't have any allies yet, but once we do get some... Very good. I thought we could just, like, switch between them freely. I didn't realize we needed an item to do it. Map is handy. I see... Okay, there is definitely a thingy this time. A, uh, a fountain or whatever you want to call it. More road acquired. So if we're lucky, maybe we can get there before we need to use any of our, our heals or water or anything like that. As long as we don't get poisoned again, I think we'll be doing pretty good. Once we do get a shop, I'm just going to load the hell up on antidotes unless the game just gives us a bunch of them. <laughs> if the game just gives us, gives us a bunch of antidotes, then even better, but... I don't expect that kind of favor from the game. How is our water? It's down to one, so we probably want to beeline it for the healing area, the, the spring. And then we can come back and deal with whatever later. Oh, you're only one enemy. We'll murder you real quick. Wait, no, there is another anim enemy here. I'm just blind. Then see it on the map. Oh. Took a little hit there. More repair powder. I like, mini tank. Ah, fuck it, just grab everything. We're, we're like, it's right here, man. Just screw it. We're gonna definitely be coming back through here anyways, because I want to kill... Oh, Macho. So is that that's probably Macho's little brother then. Anyways, yeah, I want to kill everything on the floor before we leave. So, so we're definitely going to be coming back through here. I wonder, can we be a, um, attacked while we're interacting with these things? Dangerous house. Funds increase a little. More money. Is that the key? Hey, we got the key. Okay. Bone key. So there's... A second exit? This one, I, I presume. Bone-shaped keyhole. Yeah, so maybe that's like more powerful enemies or something? Locked behind there? Or it's just like the, the cart area where it's just more stuff to do should you choose to a prickly the hell does a prickly do painful looking fishing bait okay okay fishing's definitely a thing which i'm game for man give me some fishing i'll fish all day there's a question mark in here the question mark Oh, it's the cart again. Okay. So the bone doors, they're just another part of the same dungeon. Not like an extra part, secondary part. None of that BS. Just, just more dungeon. Annex room? Hmm. I wonder if certain activities increase our thirst as well. Like of attacking, you know, because it uses stamina, presumably. If attacking would make us more thirsty, more quicker. It may only happen whenever we're actually in combat with creatures, though. I mean, it does look a little bit lower already, so it could be purely time-based, even. It's hard to say with that one. I'm not sure. Oh. Did I get hit? No. Okay. We were immune. Even though he definitely hit us, like, we were immune to the attack. Which feels like you might be able to use for cheese at some point. Also appreciate the fact that creatures seem to have a little bit of... Um, stagger whenever you hit them. And it doesn't seem to really matter which weapon you're using either. They just kind of have it. 
Like, if we switch back to the dagger plus one, I wonder. How close was that other one to leveling up, actually? 48 out of 58? Oof. We might go back to it just to finish leveling it up one more time. I mean, we're still... We're level one and two on the dungeon. About to go down to level three. I guess there's not a ton of reason to worry about it right now. Oh, one more thing I want to check real quick. If we click leave dungeon now... The sign of monsters might connect to Fairy King and leave. Okay, so yeah, we wouldn't have to use the the escape powder. Big keyhole, that's right. I'm dumb. Uh, key. And then this will let us leave for free, right? Leave dungeon temporarily. And presumably we can come back to level 3. Since we opened the door to 3, at least. mode figure in assembly okay well we got the thingy here for you you also want a separate room and is this your your brother short big brother to macho macho likes his name never like his name never skips training and then if we had any of the stuff for this I'm assuming it would show up over here. A range? Oh, that just means place. Okay. Ah, we can fit you over here. Dope. Oh, maybe? Yes. Perfect. We have... I know we got more... Road trees. Let's put a random tree over here. Sand the road, why not? Or, hold on, actually, I take that back. Grab, move and remove. Move you to, I don't know, here. Let's bring the windmill over here. And then, this looks like the side the ladder will go on, if that's a thing. You can go there. Sick. And then what else do we have? Five more road, no more river. Um I'm assuming houses are basically all the same size. This is too wide. And it starts at here. One, two, skip. Kinda like this. And then this should be the end of the road. Nope, that's that. Two, three. One, two, three. Leave the gap in the middle there. And then over here is where I'll put the trees if I wasn't stupid and removing it. Uh, <laughs> the trees! Here we go. Trees can go there. Like that, maybe? I, mean, I think that's okay. We don't have anything for you yet, but we do have... For Paige's house. Wait. Do I not have you down? No, I do. Fence. Lot convenient for storing things? Ooh. I'm so confused. I, it's showing us, so I thought we had it unlocked, but... But I guess not? What goes here yet? Maybe some things we just know ahead of time, and other things we have to learn over time. That could be true. Fair enough. Just doesn't it look like a chimney, though? Like, compared to this, I guess it's not an exact match, but... It's very square-ish. Probably some kind of... Whatchamacallit, like chest or something, right? Convenient for storing things. You put things in chests. Uh, makes sense to me, at least. Okay, it's morning. Does that mean everybody's going to be at home? I don't see any blue dots out here. 
You don't have anything on your lawn for me either, which is very sad. Thought you loved me. Oh, I knocked over my bottle of isopropyl alcohol. I found out last time the seal's not perfect on it, and the room smelled like IPA for... I don't even know. Until the next day, at least. Oh, I'm getting back in there. Dudes, are you here? No. Are you guys anywhere in here? There's Macho again. Uh, tell me how to rebuild your house. Don't forget to expand my room and the barbell. Put that outside. I already gave you your barbell, did I not? Okay. You don't really tell me, like, anything, do you? You should ask my big bro. If I knew where your big bro was, I gladly would, but... Oh, he's right here. Hello! Thank you, stream. Say, what happened on the day of the festival, anyway? I remember a light flash from the sky, and the house has disappeared, and after that, I don't remember a thing. How should I build no Renee? No rune? No Renee? I'd like the house to be someplace where I don't have to go far for a good workout. I mean, don't you have workout stuff here? Uh, how to rebuild your house? A fence and a lamp would be nice. We had stuff any decent person would have, you know? I mean, fun fact, I happen to have that stuff. Oh, I gave the fan fence to Paige, I guess. Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> Can't do that here, I guess. We gotta go back outside. Menu? Fig and assembly. Stealing your fence. He gets it. Macho <laughs> appreciates me more. Okay, so he has an event now. What are the events? Does that just mean, like, go back to the house? Oh, look at it. It's different now. They have, like, some fencing around here. There's their barbell. Another little chest. Some tasty water. Water's always nice. Good gift. So if we go back inside, maybe they'll, like, give us something? Oh. Whoa, stream, you've done it. Thank you, our house is back to normal again. Here, this is for you. Keep it. Stonebreaker. That's some sort of ability or maybe something we can equip to level up one of our weapons. Like, I always tell you, what's yours is mine, what's mine is yours. That's how things between brothers are. <laughs> oh my god. Is he about to get his ass kicked? Macho, I don't think this is going to end well for you, man. So what the hell is Stonebreaker? Item. Attachment. Increases damage to rock monsters. Well, I mean, I see no reason not to equip it, right? I don't think they're permanent. Whoop. Oh, no. Customize. Increase damage to rock monsters. Allow sense fear and normal. Maybe here. Yeah, it is attachable or detachable. Oh, it raises, like, a certain attribute on it. Okay, so for the, like, where we transform it thing, we need to get all the attributes up to a certain point to be able to transform it into something new. And we do that using tablets and... I thought there was, like, some sort of permanent use thing, too, but I don't know. Attribute... Arm selected weapon, discard with... What? D-R-T-N-L? Dirtnel? <laughs> what? What does that mean? Oh, direction... With right directional. Arm with left directional, okay. I feel like that could have been made much more clear, dude. That's fine. Now, the other house that we put down, though, even though you're not built up yet, do you have anything for us? You do. Beast Buster. What the hell is a Beast Buster? You're another plate. Increases damage to animal monsters. Well, we only have the one... 
or the two uh, plates right now. So even though this other one can be used for synth spears, whatever that is, we might as well go ahead and put it in, right? The basic dagger doesn't seem to be possible to build up. There's not going to be anybody here because we didn't put anybody on the thing yet. I don't think. Yeah, no, just just an empty house. Oh, with a cute little teddy, though. I don't remember who Paige was. I don't think we met her. That wasn't the girl, right? From the beginning? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Lord knows I've been wrong before, though, so... Who's to say? Alright, back to dungeon. I mean, we still just gotta keep, keep, keep collecting more crap. Collect stuff, build up the town, get given things. I'm, I'm wondering if the things, like the little chests outside the houses, if they respawn, or if that is, like, unique to the first time you build it sort of thing. I'm feeling kind of like it might be a one-time thing each time you place and then finish a building. I'm back. Exciting, eh? Don't give me that look. This is for your benefit. Now, here's the intermediate course. I won't repeat myself, so listen carefully. First of the lock-on. You already knew that pressing the circle button locks onto monsters. No, I didn't. I missed that at some point. That is very helpful. Thank you. The red target frame will appear around locked-on enemies. Uh, you can change your lock-on with L1-R1. Pressing L1 button repeatedly cycles through all the enemies. Pressing R1 activates your guard. Oh, okay. Did you know about the attribute change functions for your weapons? It changes weapons elemental attributes. There are five attributes. Fire, ice, thunder, wind, and holy. Many monsters are vulnerable to a specific attribute. To change a weapon's attribute, click it. Of course, you cannot activate an attribute unless that weapon has points. What do you think? Easy, huh? Don't you try your noodle, fry your noodle something. I don't know. I saw a noodle and just kind of <laughs> fixed on that until pressing X. So it's fine. We don't, we don't need to know. Uh, sure. We'll go this way first. Supplies. Very nice. Oh, hi. You're a big dude. Also, wow, did that hurt. <laughs> we got hit once and we're down to 38 out of 70. So it's not a two-hit kill, but... Wait, that's not the key already, is it? We really did. Hopefully there's a uh, thing around here close by. We do have food. Like, we can use it if we have to. I'd just rather not. Another statue. Oh. Oh, God. We're going to die. Oh. <laughs> Dagger plus one is taking extreme damage. It'll be broken. Okay, that's fine. We can repair it. Repair. And then... We need to eat, I guess, because we don't know where the next heal is. And we have a decent amount of food. We might as well make use of it. I don't remember the button for guarding. Guess next time we come across a, a easy enemy, we should mess around with that just a little bit. I think it was R1. L1, I think, shuffled through enemies. And R1 was guarding. Guarding seems like it's going to be important here. Especially now that we're coming across slightly larger monsters. Oh, you're a dick. Can we use items in battle? If they're not on our hotbar. Hot it seems like it. What's the other enemy here? Are you another... Oh, you're just a dude. Item. Okay, I want to heal my poison. We really don't have a ton of health, do we? Of course, there's the fountain. 
If I had waited off on using the items, I could have just ran over there, I guess. But it will. Is fine. We didn't have to use our water yet, which is nice. And there's a bridge. Sick. I was hoping we would find a bridge. So I want to like have the water go all the way across, I think. But of course, we need a bridge so we can get back and forth over it. Magical crystal. So now we know where all the chests and enemies are. What are you? A throbbing cherry. Why is it throbbing? That is not a descriptor I've ever thought of using for fruit. Throbbing. Item. Magical fruit that allows time to be stopped or advanced. So, like, does it pause enemies? Is that what it's saying? Stop, time, or advance. Is that maybe if we... Maybe shops are only open, like, during certain times of day or something. Like, as of right now, I don't really understand why we need it to be a certain time of day. Wait, is this another spring? I didn't even know getting more than one on a level was possible. So if you can have more than one on the same level, I'm wondering if you can have none. Okay, that's the way down. Interesting, the the magical crystal or whatever the hell they called it doesn't show where that is. Are you another toy horse is what I thought it was, but I mean, whatever. I mean, if he doesn't hit us, we don't have to worry, right? Just gotta get good. We also know where, like, multiple heal spots are now. Oh. Okay. Shoot. So we're not able to like animation cancel. Do we have more repair powder? We do not have more repair powder, okay. So I think we kind of have to switch over to the bone dagger then, although we have very little HP on that too. Hmm. Does that mean we need to spend a little bit more time focusing on previous levels? Maybe level up our items a little bit more? Endurance plus one. Having this allows an escape from dungeon with command- Oh, that's escape powder. You Makes it harder to break a weapon. How do we use you? Weapon. Customize? Ah, okay. So the endurance, the ED, that doesn't directly relate to how much HP it has. I'm guessing it's just how much damage it takes per hit. Well, I'll keep the Beast Buster in there. And then since the biggest problem with our, our Bone Boy is that it seems to break too easy. We'll customize and give that to you. Wait, times two. Does that mean it gets double the effect from it? It does. That's cool. Thick. Okay. And then that's nothing. Yeah, I know it's about to break. There's only two creatures left, though. I'm really hoping we can make do with the two creatures here. Or maybe this chest will be some repair powder. I didn't realize we didn't have any. Or no, we used the, the last of it, I guess, in the, um... Oh, God, to fix our dagger not too long ago. Like the early days of the dungeon. Hello, bucko. What's up, man? Welcome, sir. 
You hate Dairy Queen? What happened to Dairy Queen, man? I actually just had- Oh, you're a dick. Well, whatever. We're getting ready to leave the dungeon. Oh, God. We're, like, dying, though. Uh, we'll get a free antidote from the old man. So that's fun. Anyways, yeah, I just had Dairy Queen a couple days ago. It wasn't that long ago. I didn't end up buying, like, food food. I just ended up buying french fries and ice cream for myself, Noodle. But you really wanted it? My bad, man. I'm sorry. I don't... <laughs> I wish... I wish you got your Dairy Queen. This is for taking DoorDash or this is down. That does suck. Just drive down here and get it. It's not like you live that far from Dairy Queen. I wish I could mute the stupid thing. The your weapon's about to break thing. Like, bro, I know my weapon's about to break. I wonder... Okay. Hold on. Big keyhole. Use item. Yeah. So, when we get back to town, I'm going to, like, grab... I mean... Uh, they'll probably be closed, actually. Never mind. I was gonna say, when I'm done with, uh, streaming, I can dash it for you if you want to pay me, but, like... <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll... Yeah, they'll probably be closed by the time I'm done, so... Yeah, that's what I thought, more or less. Stromboli and wing Stromboli sounds really good. I love Strombolis. One of my favorites. Uh, didn't we unlock... Okay, well, we got a bridge... Wait. Huh? Does it need, like, maybe it needs space on both sides of it? How does this work? How does... Hmm. We got five of them. Needed for crossing rivers. Um... Maybe? Okay, hold on, because I'm curious. Move, remove. Remove a couple of these. Um, I'll just try to remember to put those over there. Because I know currently my plan is to have the river go straight across like the middle here. So maybe if I have it like back out one like that and then bridge. How do bridges work, damn it? Is it because I don't have it... Like, in a straight line yet? Fig. Needed for crossing rivers. Yes, I get that. Oh. Bro, what? Oh, oh my god, now I'm annoyed. Cause like, move, remove. River. I can put that other one back in a second if I need to. Fig. Bridge. Okay, so it seems like it needs river, at least three rivers straight for it to work. That's fine. So I can have the river where I want it, more or less. That won't work. I need to... Oh, I should have moved it, not removed it. This building menu kind of sucks. Uh, but again, I'm not going to be able to have it in the center. That's super annoying. Damn it. Move. Don't remove. I guess I could have, like, two bridges. That looks kind of dumb to me, but whatever. So the bridges can go there. Do I have any more road yet? I do not. Whatever. Okay, that should be good enough for now. And then you want some fence. I have... I have fence. Cabin. Storage space? Aha! That's what you wanted. Okay. 
And that's Paige's house, but we haven't found Paige yet, right? Oh, you're Paige's dad, though, so you should be able to move in. Paige's father, good at physical labor. Still don't have anything for Claude, I don't think. Gaffer who owns the local store. Okay, well, I don't think we have the local store unlocked yet, but that would be really cool. I wonder if these things are, like, randomized or... Or what? What is this game? Dark Cloud. Should be in the title, isn't it? Did I forget to update the title? Yeah, it's it's a really weird mix of City Builder and um, Dungeon Crawler. It's oh yeah, <laughs> gameplay wise, that's literally what it is. It's a it's a City Builder, but with JRPG elements, or well, you know, dungeon crawling elements more or less. So like, you're attacked by this dark genie that was summoned that once almost destroyed the world. And in order to save you and, and the world or whatever, um, some ancient spirits teleported you and all of the, the objects in your town into these little spheres. So then you have to go around, find these spheres um, so that you can awaken them and rebuild the world. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I presume you only actually rebuild your town, but I don't know. Maybe you had to rebuild the next town over, too. I've not gotten that far. It's a really weird mix, but I generally like Dungeon Crawler, so it was a game I was wanting to play for a while. And it's one that I played... Did I play it? I don't remember, actually, if I ever played it. I know I knew of it when I was younger, but I can't remember if I've ever messed around with it or not. Definitely never got far, though, either way. Stream, you're safe, too. Well, that's good. What kind of bastard did this to us? Um, how should I rebuild No Rune? You know I like fishing, don't you? I mean, I would love to fish too, but I don't know how that works. <laughs> Tell me how to rebuild your house. I'd like the wheel for the buggy to be outside. It's a part I use for repairing old gaffer's buggy. That old man must think I own a repair shop or something. Okay, well, I can't really get you the wheel yet. But maybe eventually. This camera does not want to turn. Oh. I don't know if there's ever anything inside people's houses or if it's only ever like the chests outside. Of course, again, once we like open up the shop, I imagine the shop will have some stuff inside for us, but we haven't gotten to that point yet. All right. Well, anyways, the one thing that I was actually wanting to test out, we have two weapons, both of which are about to break. If we talk to the mayor, the mayor gives us basic supplies, including food and repair powder for our weapons, but it seems he only ever gives us one at a time. Um, so I'm wondering, it's presumably, yeah, okay, he did give us repair powder. So now if I fix that, get it back up to 32, if I talk to him again, did he give us more repair powder? He did, my boy, okay, perfect. So if we keep a hold of multiple weapons, we can get infinite repairs every time we leave. For free. Dope. Now, if we were hungry or anything, I guess we'd want to go ahead and do that now, too. But, of course, we're not yet, so I don't think we really need to worry about that. All right, and the, the creatures we've been fighting aren't particularly strong or anything like that. But I am wondering if we should... I am wondering if we should go back to level one and just do a tiny bit more grinding to try to level up our weapons a little bit. Because, like, we're not having too much trouble staying alive, right, between all the food that we have and stuff. But what we are having is trouble keeping our weapons alive. Wait, zero of zero? Is this a special floor? I take it back. We're going to, we're going to floor four. <laughs> The, the mayor also gives us escape powder, so if we need to, like, run the hell away, that's fine. But this floor seems special in some way. <laughs> now you die! Okay, yeah, this is like some sort of boss floor or something, I'm guessing. Used to hate grinding. Oh, bro, I grew up playing RuneScape. I'm all for grinding in games. As long as the grinding is at least a tiny bit interesting... Then, like, I'm Gucci. 
how y'all did it 20 years ago. You put on a TV show <laughs> and then you just grind it away, man. He's a tough one. You'll have to duel him. A duel is a special form of combat. Controller button markers will move from right to the left of the screen. Press the right button when they line up with the light blue bar. Arrows such as meh, mean press that direct. It's a freaking rhythm game, okay? <laughs> when the duel starts, you'll be given an indication of it with this mark. So be aware of it. Here it is. Stay focused. It's literally a rhythm game. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how bosses work in this game. You just play a rhythm mini game. Sick. What the shit is TV? It's Netflix for old people. <laughs> Undead Buster. And then the key, okay. Uh so wait, can we refight the boss for more stuff? Undead monster zombies and mummies. Uh we do have on our bone rapier, another empty slot here. Might as well equip it. Yeah. They're removable, so why not? All jokes aside, you had one of your associates not know what VHS was? You felt ancient? Bruh. I get like if they had never used one, but not even knowing what it is, that's actually kind of crazy. Okay, Dran's Crest. Now, does it show us the next floor? Um, Leave temporarily. I just want to get a look to see what it is. So I still think a tiny bit of grinding just to get our level or our durability up a little bit would be good. And annoyingly, we haven't found any of the, like, oil for the carts or anything yet, so we can't even explore the the extra parts, like the B-sides of the dungeons yet. Cause so far they've all required oil for the carts. Okay, so it's back to like normal dungeons after that short. Let's go back up to one and just work our way down real quick. The dungeons aren't that long. Some more endurance, more better. We're not gonna unlock anything new for the, your dick. Uh, we're not gonna unlock anything new for the town, sadly, but I also forgot to get more repair powder from the, uh, the old man, the mayor. That's annoying. Please don't get poisoned. Bruh, cave bats are the worst thing in the world. I wonder if we guard their hits, if we still get poisoned or what the crusher the like big pig looking dude <laughs> I have no idea man he's just the crusher dude was wild but yeah I have there's not like an encyclopedia of creatures here that I know of yeah so like <laughs> I don't know man you know as much as I do about them right now Or Dasher, Crusher, whatever they're called. How close is our weapon to leveling up, I wonder? It's a lot of chests, man. There's got to be something useful in these things. Nate, what's up, man? Uh, did the game just crash? My controller died. <laughs> like... <laughs> oh... <laughs> the dasher on the way with your stromboli and I'm beating his ass. I'm taking the stromboli, man. That's why. You thought it was yours. I'm taking that shit for myself. Your boy hungry. Not really. My stomach's kind of fucked up after having Bob Evans, but I could go for a stromboli anytime. You have to like DM me and tell me where the hell you got a stromboli from. I didn't even know they sold them around here. But anyways, I'm going to grab my uh, charger block real quick because controller's dead. I could plug in my actual PS2 controller, but... The PS4 controller feels so much better in the hand. So, BRB. Right, right here. Ah. 
I wonder, like... Thank you. Thank you for the DM. I wonder if there's, like, a mod I could do, or maybe make myself, so that the PS4 controller, the light on the back of it, lights up to tell you how much charge the controller has. Chocobo, what's up, man? Welcome, sir. Everybody's joining all of a sudden. Because uh, that would just be really useful for me. Since I pretty much never use the PS4 controller on a console, I only ever really use it for the PS2. <laughs> It'd be really handy, man, if I knew how much charge was left on it. Even roughly, you know? It doesn't have to be, like, exact numbers. Just if it started flashing yellow whenever it was getting low and then red whenever it was, like, super low or something, that'd be perf. That feels like a mod that wouldn't be super hard to do. Bomb nuts, excuse me? Hitting an enemy with it makes it explode and cause damage. Sure, we'll equip that. Why not? Can change the ally when current. Throwing at an enemy makes it explode, causes major damage. Don't really plan on using it on enemies. Because I think we can blow up certain walls with it, and I'd much rather do that to find, like, the B-side of a dungeon or whatever. Is a party now? We partying? I got drinks, man. Not on me. They're downstairs, but... Actually, I need to get rid of the rum that I have. It's like... I don't know, man. I don't know how long rum normally lasts once open, but the shit does not taste good, and I just want to get rid of it. I could just dump it, I guess, but... I don't know. I hate wasting things. Chug it? I think I'll pass on that, man. I don't plan on just chugging it. So, we just got Dran's Crest. But we had Dran's Crest before. Like, we've already unlocked the next level of the dungeon. I mean, I guess maybe... I guess maybe it doesn't matter. Like, you still can't go down to the next floor regardless. Unless you use the crest again. We have plenty of food. At least for these earlier dungeons. I think I'm just going to eat some food. Instead of walking all the way back to that healing lake. See, it's a freaking cardigan, man. I can't do anything with the cards. Pumped with energy. Does that mean we deal more damage? Yeah, I know it's close to dying. Hush you. I forgot to grab more repair powder from the old man. One more hit. There we go. Alright, hush. I'm changing it out. Is it... Oh, I didn't even realize it was ready to upgrade. That was my whole goal, was just to get it upgraded. Oh, wait, what? Did it just eat those things that I had in it? Oh. <laughs> I guess that's why you don't want to upgrade right away. So it's temporary until you upgrade it. And then once you upgrade it, it becomes a permanent part of its... Oh. Okay. Huh. Good to know, I guess. <laughs> Um, sure. Anyways, we still have to switch to the Bone Rapier. Do I want endur extra endurance for sure? Now, for the build-up, I'm trying to get it... Oh, that's why this still says zero, because we don't have any, like, full upgrades on it. It's just the temporary upgrade right now. Okay. Yeah, so this one, the thing that we currently have equipped to it here, Undead Buster, that increases the skull. And in order to build up, we do need skull. So as soon as I can upgrade it, we will, to give it extra durability. And also... Um. Oh shit! I'm, I thought I, I thought I equipped the other weapon. 
equip the, the rapier. Extra durability and get us closer to being able to build it up is what I was trying to say. Now full, you can now upgrade it. Sick. Okay, well. <laughs> so, okay, if we upgrade, it'll eat those two things that we collected. It's now rapier plus two. And if we select build up... Okay, we still don't have enough, but see, it is showing the three plus now, or the three on it now. I think, okay, it sucks we wasted the first upgrade without any of those plates on it. But now that we know how it works, it's not that bad. I can see grinding being that much more important though, trying to collect these parts and things. Honestly, it seems like upgrading is going to be somewhat rare because you probably want to always have the plates in it, right? I don't see why you would ever not want the plates in it before you upgraded. Of course, you do get a small stat boost if you upgrade just in general, but you get a significantly larger upgrade or stat boost if you upgrade with the plates inserted. And you get to work towards building it up to whatever like the next best part is. So that seems like the way to go, 100%. Since the water's there, we might as well run in there real quick. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do as much of the next floor as I can. And then we'll probably just end up teleporting out though and going to back to base so we can collect more goodies from the, the mayor, especially since we haven't picked up any repair powder yet. And it wasn't much in terms of grinding, but we'll go ahead and try the next floor anyways after we go back up and do that. Oh, there's a bone door right there. There's the end. Yeah. Games like this always make me wish that every game had a fast forward function. Here's another trap chest. We could try to guess it again. Uh, force the chest by guessing. Poison trap. Let's go, dude. Two for two. Honestly, considering we only have like a 33% chance, that's pretty good. And getting another weapon's pretty sick, too. Because short of getting a, a more, like, upgrade powder or whatever, that just lets us go farther before our weapons are about to break. I imagine eventually you'll probably get to the point to where you do just let certain weapons break. Although, I guess you could probably sell them for cash once the shop's available, so maybe not. Unless they're worth, like, next to nothing. If they're... I don't know, five gold pieces or some crap, then probably not. Just let them break so it doesn't eat up your inventory space. Or discard them. I guess discarding is always an option. Probably the quote-unquote proper one. Oh. Good miss. We can't really, like, dodge, but we can sidestep. At least for slow attackers like those skeletons, that works. Holy gem. So I'm assuming that gives holy power to whatever weapon we're upgrading? Yeah, well, there's the key to just leave the place. Oh, wait, where's the key to get into the bone room? Did we pick it up already? Oh, that's a chest one. I thought it was a monster drop. That makes sense then. Uh, weapon? Okay, what does the, the new one, what do you need to be upgraded, upgraded? You have two different options. One needs fish, <laughs> and then a bunch of attributes. And the other one needs attributes, thunder, and a handful of other ones. Now, which one of those is holy? <laughs> Oh, Holy's one of these. It's not one of the... 
I thought it was one of these things. No, these are all different monster things. Okay. So you need... Ice, thunder, wind, and fish. You need thunder and random other things. What does... Oh, the rock doesn't actually do anything there. What is the rock? I thought that would be another equipable thingy. Sacred gem. Stone blessed with power causes holy damage to the enemy. Oh, okay, it's just, a, it's just an usable. Fair. We'll throw that up there then. I don't even know how to use the items that we have equipped. I, I'm sure they told us at some point, but like... Memory, not good. Don't remember. I think after this dungeon, I am actually going to go get myself a drink, though. Bro, I found your dasher. He's on the other side of this door. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> and then he just ran away. What a dick. I open the door for him. He smacks me in the face, and he just fucking runs, dude. One star review. No tip. Uh, we can probably fight one more dude before we have to worry about swapping. Uh, I take it back. We can do one more. <laughs> Getting thirsty. I'm hoping we find a thing down here somewhere. One of the hot springs. Of course, without any more repair powder, we're going to have to leave pretty soon anyways. So maybe it doesn't really matter. Get wrecked. I forgot, like, weapons do have special abilities. I wonder, are they always just, like, big jump attacks like that? Or I wonder if there's any different ones that they can get. I think I knocked over my bottle of ice purple alcohol again. I need to just put it in a different place, obviously. I like when I'm sitting in chairs to, like, prop my feet up on something, you know? And I have a thing specifically for that that I bought from Amazon, but it broke, like, a year or two ago. Maybe even longer than that. It's been a while, and I just haven't gotten another one yet for whatever reason. So I just kind of prop my foot on the corner of my desk, but that's... Oh, we're dead. Stream is nearly destroyed. What happens when we die? Do we just lose money? Do we lose all of our stuff? That's the first time I've died. I think money. I'm pretty sure we had more than 94 gold. But all of our stuff is still here. Okay. That's not bad, then. Who cares about that, anyways? We just lose a tiny bit of money, man. I'm down for that. We'll just spend it all before we go into a dungeon. <laughs> Once we unlock the shop. Obviously, we haven't unlocked the shop yet, but... Let's use the old dude here, get all of our stuff fixed, and then we're going to go down to the next floor, because I want to see... I, I, honestly, I just want to unlock the shop. That's, like, my big goal for now. Uh, repair powder. I guess you didn't really need repaired that badly, but it's fun. Repair. Sick. And... A dagger. Repair. Love it. Okay. And then talk to the dude one more time. Can we save anywhere? Oh yeah, dude. Save that shit. Alright, I'm gonna go grab a drink. So, I'll be right back. Twister, Salt Twister, Quake, Hellfrog. 
damage. I hope that's all that straight up death. Tranga, wall, status ward. Mm. So now the question is, how do we make a punching <laughs> materia? Or can we buy one? I doubt we can buy one, but. Drain Osmos, Poison Silence, Pure Thunder, Blizzard Fire. Yeah. No luck there. Uh, Healing Wave is good. It's very good on its own. Award from Wutai Waterfall Minigame. Wutai Waterfall Minigame. I don't remember the Wutai Waterfall Minigame. <laughs> that would have been... Like, at the beginning of the game. <laughs> right? Because that's when we went to Wutai. Materia Fusion. Uh, I mean, it's got to be physical, right? For a punching one. So, like, I don't know. What can we do with a Salt Twister? Wait, all. Stop Twister. High Jump, Exploder Blade. Blast wave? Huh. Strike, Pendaga Blade. Silence Aerial. Power Drain's pretty cool. Kira, Pandara. One of these days it'd be cool to do an AP build. I always end up going with like MP. But you can do like most of the stuff you can do with AP. Is punch an accessory? No, you can't fuse. Like, the accessories just do. Here, I'll just pick something here in a moment. The the accessories just add, like, extra, whatchamacallit, to your stuff. Vital Slash. Attack plus. Where is our high jump now? Attack plus 25. I mean, that would make it better. We could do that. Anyways, um, yeah, so adding this stuff just increases, like, the the bonuses. E. Take the defensive. Washi Green. Mithril. Attack Mako Stone. Oh, shit, I have a lot of these. That'll take it up to 35 by using all my attack Mako stones. Power wrist. Nah. Trash. The coffin keys, man. The coffin keys are OP. Like, if you spend a bunch of time... You think it's capped at 35? Really? Um, but if you spend a bunch of time just, like... There we go. I'm back. See, it's supposed to be like a uh, marshmallow spiced rum kind of thing. So it's like it should mix really good with root beer. And uh, it was decent. Not my favorite, but it was decent when I first got it. But then over time, it just started to taste weird. Although right now, like it doesn't taste as bad as it did before. So I don't know, man. It's probably just me. <laughs> the rum itself is probably fine. It wasn't my favorite thing to begin with. I also had like three drops of honey whiskey left though. So I also put that in there. Cause I was like, you know, what else am I gonna do with it? There's next to nothing left in the in the bottle. Seems kinda pointless. I was originally keeping it because I actually like cooking with it more than I like drinking it, the honey whiskey. So I was keeping it for that, but um I don't know, I've had it for quite a while now and never got around to using it for anything, so I've decided, screw it, we'll just go ahead and uh, dump it in a drink. Drink her up. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything else has spawned. That's too bad. I was really hoping for... Like, chests to keep kind of appearing over time. Outside of people's houses and things. Gives us a, a reason to keep visiting them beyond the first time we drop them in the world. Oh well, though.
how much harder is this going to be? We have an extra weapon, so that's a whole extra durability slot, basically. Um, we've upgraded all of our weapons a couple of times, so that shouldn't be too bad. The floors beneath this one are even tougher. Now to the advanced course to give you a fair chance against the meaner enemies down below. Using your charge attack when fighting enemies. No, but I do know about it. Hold the circle button down and... Uh, Hold the circle button down, and after your body flashes, release it. With this, you'll do a jump slash. It's effective against flying enemies or ground enemies. Let's talk more about weapons. So, how are your weapons growing? If you don't start upgrading them now, you can get into trouble later. Before you upgrade, it is a good idea to keep attachments on. If you upgrade with them on, then the weapon can absorb the power of the attachment. We figured that out. There's a power limit for each weapon. There is no need to upgrade its ability beyond this le limit. <laughs> when weapons reach level 5 or greater, they can status break. A status break is breaking down a weapon into a synth sphere that contains the power of the weapon. If you install this onto other weapons as an attachment, you can add the old weapon's attributes to the new weapon. Bro, that's actually a pretty sick uh, crafting system there, if you want to call it that. Upgrade system? Upgrade system sounds a little bit better. Attributes in the synth sphere will add to the new weapon's attributes permanently when the sphere is absorbed. However, the attributes received may be less than that of the weapon before being made into a synth sphere. Yeah, that's fair. If the new limits... If the new weapon's limit is higher, then you can make a more powerful weapon. Pretty cool, huh? That's it for today's lecture. Take care of yourself. I'll always be watching you. Yeah, okay. So I guess that's a reason why you don't want to, like, let your weapons break or sell them if that becomes an option or whatever as well. Oh, we're still thirsty? Uh, that's annoying. I mean, we have a couple things of water. I guess I'll just drink one. Is this a room up here? No. Okay. Yeah, let's just drink. It's fine. We still have a whole nother bottle? Question mark of water? Oh. Bruh. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> My biggest concern right now is like weapon durability and that pad on the floor just decreased our weapon durability. That's... That's nice. <laughs> Damn it, that's the first negative effect we've gotten from one of those pads, so I didn't even know you could get negative effects. I thought it was just always good things. Drop almost dying too, bro. Way to suck. Oh my god, okay. Item, eat some bread. So I was trying to do the charge attack thing that he was talking about because, you know, he mentioned like holding circle. It's not circle. It's X, which is what I thought. I was very confused whenever he said circle. But I was like, oh, maybe it's like a different kind of charge attack or something. No. Holding circle does fuck all, man. Maybe the pond is where we can fish at. Kind of hoping so. Wheel. Wheel would probably be good for... I think the one house needed a wheel. And then... Because it's not like an item, right? The wheel, it's a thing? Yeah, okay. I think the one house might have needed a wheel. And then... The other the other thing. The, uh... Uh... The Gladius has taken extreme damage. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh, shit. So that still hurts us. Even when we're guarding. Good to know. We might not actually be ready for this level yet. I mean, we survived, but if the ones below this are gonna get even harder, we might we might have a bit of a tough uh tough time on our hands. There's the bone key for the other door. Upstairs storage. Okay, that's going to be an upgrade for somebody's house. Ow. Bro, that still did 32 damage. What's the point of even blocking? It doesn't seem to actually help us, like, at all. We can hit one more time, we're dead. By one of those dudes. Oh, good. Poisoned. All right. Well, since we never found a thunder gem, that's new. I'm guessing that increases the attribute if we equip it. We never found the um, 
bro, what's it called? The pond, the hot spring, the area that like lets us heal. And there's nowhere else we can go down here without going through that door. Which honestly, if we try, I think we're just gonna die. So we're just gonna have to leave and come back. And put down the new crap we got, though. Did we get any new buildings? Oh, we got the pond. Got a wheel. Is the wheel equipable here? No. So just for your house, then. That's fine. The lamp. Didn't somebody want a lamp? Oh, you did, but we already gave you one. You don't want a lamp for some reason. We haven't found your guys' houses yet. How big is the pond? Oh, damn, it's big. Okay, maybe we remove those trees and then just put the pond here then? Or we can just put the pond on the other side here. Yeah, and it'll, like, connect to the river across. Seems fine. We don't have anything else, right? We have more trees, but whatever. More bridges, but like I'm not gonna line the entire thing in bridges. Uh, can we interact with the pond? Can I fish? Maybe. Hey, okay. Fish exchange FP and fishing log. Uh, I want to fish. Seems like you can fish here, but you don't have a fishing pole. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I thought maybe it was like in, a, I don't know, a magic fishing pole. Soap. Releases from gooey conditions. Wink. <laughs> Mighty healing. Heals all conditions. Dino Slayer. Okay, so things to increase all of the, the different stats on the weapons. And a fancy-ass weapon. Sword with sacred power of moonbeam. Okay, so we probably just want to save up and get that. Unless there's no other way to buy any of these other things. But once we get the shop, I imagine... At least, like, antidote drink, holy water, soap, you know, all these basic items at least. But probably also these other things. The gems and, and tablets or whatever they're called. I feel like they'll probably be available too. Do we need to talk to the old dude? Yes, because he'll give us food. And I would say maybe a little bit more grinding is in order, but since I don't think we have personal levels, do we? Is there any way to just like look at myself? And we can eat our favorite food to increase our defensive power, but I, I still don't know what our favorite food is. I think he gives us water, too. We'll go ahead and drink the water, get that filled back up. Stone with electric power causes thunder-based damage. Oh, okay, so it's not for attributes. It's another one of these things. I can't wait until we get, like, some sort of chest or something to store our own stuff in, too. That would be super... Super cool. Uh, oh, he didn't give us our crap yet. Or he did, and I'm dumb. Very real possibility. And then we definitely need to fix our other weapon, too. Wait. Did it... Did it break? I could, I could have swore that we changed our weapon. Bro. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I did. Damn it, dude. I did not realize it broke. That feels so bad. Okay. Well, is what it is, though. Nothing we can do about it now. I'm not going to reload a save for that. I don't know why I teleported over here when I can literally teleport over here. Like, straight into the dungeon. Didn't even cross my mind. Do we go down to the bottom floor again? Five or whatever? 
Yeah, screw it. Let's go back into it. If the only penalty is for dying, or the only penalty for dying is losing money, damn you with your stupid poison, I hate the bats so much. If the only penalty for dying is uh, losing money, then we might as well grind on the higher floors instead of the lower floors, unless like things are impossible for us to deal with. So obviously you still have to kill things to get any benefit. Well, this floor looks big. Bruh. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna eat some food, and then the next time I come across one of those dudes, I'm just gonna block. I'm not even gonna, like, try to attack him. Because we took 23 damage regardless of blocking. So now I'm like confused. Is there actually any point of blocking? I wonder if blocking eats up durability on items or on weapons, whatever. E. Good, it's one of you. Here we go. Come here, statue. I'm blocking. Yeah, no, it's the same thing. Oh. Okay, well, that time it did break. Thankfully, it was the dagger, so it's not the end of the world. Still should uh, be more careful though. Wait, is he still alive? He is. I really don't want to get poisoned again, dude. I wonder if there's ranged weapons we can get at some point. Cause I really want a bow or something that I can use to not have to get close to those freaking bats. Stand in powder. I still don't even have allies, so the stand in powder is kind of useless to us. Did we get the key? The bone key? I'm not sure if we already had that, though. I assume when you, like, die or leave a dungeon floor, if you have a bone key, it takes it from you. And it doesn't just let you, like, hold on to them from previous floors. So otherwise, you could use that to kind of, like, cheese it, right? Because you could just collect keys on the earlier, easier to deal with floors, and then... And then, like, come down to the harder... To oh, shit. Those enemies specifically, man, they suck. They don't seem to get staggered. You can't block them, I guess? You have to be able to, though. Oh, I should have went and talked to the old dude. Maybe it's because, like, they're doing the upper, like, the high attack thing? Oh, you know what, though? I haven't tried using a charge attack against them. That's probably what I actually need to be doing. That's probably why we're sucking so hard. Got to get that, like, big damage against them. And being, like, starting farther away from them would be a bonus, too. Alright, um... Yeah, we're, like, very unprepared, but... Whatever, we'll look at this as if it was, like, a grinding run in the dungeon. And maybe we'll unlock some stuff while we're down here. I don't like you, why are you chasing me? Oh, no, this one. Kill this one first. He's easy to deal with. Okay, you. Mm, I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> Honestly, I... If, mm, yeah, I don't know. 
It's another enemy that if I had the ability to use range attacks, I'd probably just use a range attack to deal with it and just not get close enough to even have to worry about him hitting me. But as far as I know right now, ranged attacks aren't a thing in the game. Outside of items, right? Because presumably the items that we have would work as, as ranged attacks. You freaking bat. Claude's house. Did we unlock Claude yet? Like, the person? Maybe? Ladder required? Okay, we were needing the ladder for the, uh, for the windmill. Slash lookout tower, whatever you want to consider it. Repair powder? Dope. I mean, I guess we can use- oh, they charge attack us. That's lame. I was gonna say, I guess we could use like the jump attack as a option to deal with the, the bats so they don't get close enough to hurt us, hurt us. But with the way they charge, I don't know. I don't know if we'll have time to do that. Do we have antidote? No. No, we used the antidote already too. Okay, um... I'm gonna see if we can just rush to that last little green orb. Because I'm pretty sure it's the last Atla that we need from this level. Obviously, we still need to clear this level at some point. But it'd be nice for, like, the building aspect of it if we could just collect the last thing and see what we get. Just ignore everything and freaking book it, dude. Gib. Another lamp. Not the most useful of things, but whatever, I guess. Okay, leave dungeon. Yeah, I'm fine. Use the escape powder. I'm gonna turn on my AC while it loads. Ugh, I'm getting warm. Lee, Lee, hello. Level you just redeemed hydrate. Some nasty rum and ginger and ginger ale. No, and double U root beer. My lord, I can't speak. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, I'm not chugging it. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> no chug. <laughs> I don't... Mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I don't need to chug it. Just sip it slowly, you know? Enjoy the not-so-great-tasting rum. <laughs> Anyways, bad influences aside, uh, ladder can go there. Uh, Claude's house, you want one of these. You want one of these. You probably want Claude. And then you want a chair and a fence. Well, I don't have a fence and I don't have a chair, so I think we're going to have to wait on that other stuff. Uh, rotate. You're backwards. Which which way are you facing? Wait, what do you mean you can't? There we go. Right there. Excellent. Our city's coming together. I like it. Creepy guy is creeping again. Dude, for real, though, just, like, kick him in the nuts. Like, fuck that dude, man. <laughs> Seriously, Jesus Christ. Why you gotta be a creep, bro? You know what I mean? I'm not gonna say names or anything, because I'm not rude, and I don't know, like, if the dude is innocent and just weird or what. But, like, we got a guy at where myself and Lily works that seems very odd and not in, like, a quirky way. Like, dude straight up seems like a creep, man. Obviously, like I said, I don't know he actually is... I'm not going to say he is, but the dude might be a creep. I don't know, man. Can you come back over here? Um, Because you might have something outside for me. Ah! There we go. 
He also gave the other girl he's been creeping on a gift bag full of candy, a stuffed animal, and a vape. <laughs> nice. Like I said, I mean, I don't know. In and of itself, that's not a bad thing, right? He was just being nice giving her a valentine's gift or whatever but the way he goes about things is what's so creepy like it's just weird dude i'm hoping that he's just an odd guy and it's nothing like weird but i don't know can you give me a gift bag of candy and vapes <laughs> i mean if you come to the store man maybe you know hit him up he might be down wait what happened Nate, hello. Were you here already? I don't know. I can't remember. Regardless, welcome, Nate. Um, th we got a new guy working at the place I work at. And he's a very odd dude. And he gives off major creep vibes, you know? Like, don't know that he is or anything like that. He could just be an odd dude, but he gives off major creep vibes. Um, two different girls that he's kind of been like... I don't want to say watching, but kind of like seems interested in, you know? And both of those two two girls have been like, mm, this dude gives me the ick, I don't know. So like, <laughs> he fucking watches me. Yeah, yeah, like I said, dude's probably a creep, man, I don't know. Like, no, 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 not, not in my like specific department or anything like that, just in the store that I work in. We don't have anyone new that you don't know working where... Like, my specific department. They... They refuse to hire anybody for where, like, I work exactly. Hey, stream, I thought I was finished when I was put inside that weird bubble. Oh, yeah, the food from the festival. I wonder what happened to it. There should be some left. Uh, is that all the food that we keep finding? Like, that monsters are dropping and stuff? How would you like me to build no room? Let's see, a place for a house? I'd like it when I can smell good food. So if we put him next to a bakery or something he might appreciate that again i don't know if like that actually matters don't forget the box with candies that's most important Ooh, so there are things that spawn inside people's houses sometimes hey congrats dude seriously that's awesome good for you starting your new position are you enjoying it so far nate i hope so bud Oh, oh, okay. Now I think we I think we need to talk to Mayor still, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. We don't have I mean we have repair powder. Do we need to repair anything? But we don't have bread. And we definitely want to go down with all the bread. Um Yeah, actually, both things could use repairing. We'll talk to we'll talk to old dude a couple of times. And hopefully we can actually clear this floor now. I mean, we found the key. We could technically just skip the rest of the floor. But to me, it's like, if we can't clear the floor, then we're probably not ready to go to the next one. That's more or less how I feel about that sort of thing. Uh, speed plus one. Do we just want to, like... I don't know, man. I really like the dagger. It sucks its attack is so low, but daggers are made to be quick. I mean, I guess so are rapiers, but... Oh, did the dagger get reset when it broke? Oh, uh, I mean, that makes sense. Did it lose its bonuses too, I wonder? I think it did. So everything we equipped to it got lost. We just don't lose the weapon itself. Oh, wow. We really need to be careful about not letting our crap break, man. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, I guess that's a way to reset if we want to, but like, whew. This looks to be no easy task. Put some items we need in your bag. Be careful, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll try. There. And you're still not ready to build up, right? No, not even close, yeah. It's probably going to take a couple of iterations. And I have to condense it down a couple of times before we can actually build it up. I forgot to talk to him again and get more repair powder, didn't I? My brain doesn't work on a good day, and 
when my brain's not having a good day, so. <laughs> Shoot, okay, back in. Yeah, I had one of the easy days today. It's slow time of year, and you're mainly just a helper till sports start up today. Load some boxes, then swap to another truck. I'd say most of the day, because we were just going and picking up gravel, then bringing them, doing the same thing again. I got you. I got you, boy. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to for sure this year or not, but that's something I plan on doing myself. Uh, maybe this year. Picking up some gravel, I mean, and uh, redoing my parking pad. Because it's... Uh, it's got a couple ruts in it that have built up over the years. I mean, they were already there before I moved here, but they've just gotten worse since I moved here. And the like where I actually park is starting to get a little too muddy for me. Ruts aside, so gravel's relatively cheap. I'm going to I'm going to try and get a load of gravel and get her dealt with. Now upgrade it. Okay. Um, what do you currently have? You have nothing equipped. Okay, I'm not gonna upgrade things if I don't have all of their slots full, unless like that becomes ridiculous later on or something. So we're just gonna leave it for now. Map always handy. Got paid for sitting. It was great. No, it's not going to be your every day, but it's nice to know there will be days like that. Oh, 100%, dude. Half hour lunch instead of... Oh, you have a full hour instead of a half hour. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I enjoy my hour lunches. I mean, there are certainly days where I wish I didn't have to take a full hour, but most of the time, I prefer my hour lunches. Just gives you a little bit of time to like decompress in the middle of the workday and everything, you know? And if you want to eat like some actual decent good food, you have time to warm it up or go pick it up or whatever the case may be. That's nice too. A big chest. We still don't have any chest keys. Oh, you bastard. So we're going to have to guess the trap again or just hope it doesn't have one. Um, Explosion. Failed. Trap is poison. Amulets aren't effective. Wait. Hold on. Okay, give up. Item. Antidote. We'll eat some cheese. The only thing I'm worried about is, like, dying, you know? Do these stack, by the way? Like, if I grab this and put it there, they do stack. Do things in here stack? No. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Um, okay. We'll try again. Poison. I didn't know if it was going to be the same or not, but I figured... Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Weapon. That's just like an improved dagger. It has holy damage, attack of 12, endurance 25, speed of 70, mana power of 8. So it's a easier to break, but stronger dagger, basically. That's pretty cool. When our whatever we're using right now. When our bone rapier runs out, maybe we'll go to that. It is weaker than the bone rapier. It has a little bit more endurance though. A lot less magic. The bone rapier is like by far the best thing that we have. It's also been upgraded twice though, so not a true apples to apples comparison. You're able to eat instead of having to scarf it down. Yeah, that's nice too, to be able to like enjoy your food. Of course, like if you pack a lunch or something, you know, it only takes me like 10 minutes to eat my to eat my food. What I normally do is just like, I walk out to my car if it's decent outside, um, load up a video, eat my food. All of that usually takes about 15 minutes. And then I just chill and watch whatever video until my hour lunch is up. Shoot, I didn't realize <laughs> I broke the bone rapier. I heard it beeping, but I didn't think it was that close to breaking. 
bro. Okay. So as soon as I hear that beeping... Oh, fuck. We finally got some tram oil. As soon as I hear that beeping, we might as well just instantly fix something. It's not worth trying to, like, micromanage it and try to get, like, as much use out of it as possible, man. Because that's the second weapon that I broke now. And we can't be doing that. Oh, shit. You're a dick. You just nap on your lunches now? When I'm not, like, when I'm super tired, I do that too, of course. As Lily well knows. <laughs> We're both nappers. But if I'm, if I'm not super tired, I usually stay up and watch an episode of something or whatever. But don't take me long to eat, but it's nice not have to rush to be able to eat and stuff. Time to just kick back. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I agree 100%, my guy. I can't believe we did that. I'm so upset about that rapier, man. That was by far our best weapon. Well, maybe not by far. The Chris knife is pretty close, but still. Ah, that's annoying. Tis what it is, though. Can't change it now. Oh, good job missing. And we're poisoned. I hate the bats. Fix our poison. Also came with a pay bump. 20 more days worth of pay added to your salary. Hell yeah, dude. Speaking of, because I've been working where I'm working at for so long now, I apparently get more paid vacations now, like more paid time off. I forgot to look up to see what it actually was, but apparently that's a thing, so that's cool, I guess. Okay, endurance plus two. What do you... Okay, you can't be built up. You just... I can just keep, like, pumping you up with more stuff. Maybe you don't have a maximum. Maybe that's what it is. Um, To build you up, though, you need everything there and fish. So maybe we'll go for the top one. Maybe... Endurance plus two. I don't know. I kind of feel like... At the end of the day, I kind of feel like the dagger is what I want my main weapon to be. Especially since I'm probably just going to keep breaking things. Of course, I guess we lose whatever we add to the other one anyways. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll put you on there. Hopefully not let this thing die. Oh, please don't like weapon durability. Max? Max weapon, weapon health decreased? Bro, this game hates me, I swear. Speaking of, let's switch to the other weapon. To the dagger. So we're getting close to a beam beeping, and I'm, I'm traumatized now, man. Like, I'm so worried about breaking our weapons permanently. Oh, you're a dick. I don't think I have any more antidote, do I? No. Um. Now that we finally have tram oil, I want to go explore, like, the extra bit of this dungeon. But with us being poisoned, I don't think it's worth it. We're just going to use the key, unlock the next level... And we might have to do one of the higher floors again. Or even this floor, I guess. That wasn't that bad that time around. I just got to get better at the, the fighting, honestly. Oh, we do need to go to the old man, though. The mayor. Re-up our supplies and fix our weapons. Yeah. Weapon, dagger, it's only missing two, it's fine. Repair. Uh, might as well drink some water too. Get that all filled up. Talk to the mayor again. I mean, what we could do if we wanted to save scum a little bit 
<laughs> like, we could start saving before we go down to the dungeon every time. That way, like, every time we die, it's fine. Shit. How do you play the game? But I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. The save scumming thing. I generally try not to. Although, in some games, Baldur's Gate, Cough, uh, it's basically impossible not to, man. That game kicks, at least for me and my brother, that game kicks our ass. We're just not good at it. Okay, we're gonna run through this floor again. Hopefully we can get a weapon from a chest. Hopefully. Or like a bunch of repair powder, that would be acceptable. But I don't really expect that to happen. I'm stuck. It's amazing like how much weaker this dagger is. Okay, it's beeping, repair it. Plain and simple. But, what we should do is switch to the Chris Knife first. Can we like move items around now? Hmm. Anyways, we, we should be using the better weapon first. That just makes more sense. Oh, of course there's bats in here. Please don't be bad. Oh, okay. Increase that time. That's fine, then. Get wrecked. Where are you going? Don't run away from me. I'm just trying to murder you, man. No worries. I couldn't even see this dude. This dude was invisible to me. I don't know, like, I mean, I guess they do drop money and occasionally they'll drop a useful item. But in dungeon floors we've already cleared. I don't know if it's really worth just killing everything. I guess if we were trying to level up our weapon, it would probably be worth it. But we still need, what, two more things? If we unequipped one from the other one, we would only need one more. But, like, yeah. Mm. I wonder how that works for the dagger. So if you can only go up to plus five on a weapon, is it the same way for the base dagger? It can only go up to plus five? Because if that's the case, then you really like never want to upgrade it until you have some really good sync spheres or whatever. So you can really boost the stats on it. I mean, it is meant to be a starting weapon. And generally, you know, starting weapons are just that. They're starting weapons. I'm just spoiled by games where, like, the starting weapon turns into Ultima later on. So I just have that idea in my head that, like, I need to save and be careful with it. Because at some point in the far future, it's going to be the best weapon in the game. Which maybe is a thing, but I have no reason to actually believe that, you know? Regular water? First time I've gotten that. Uh, we're almost out of water. I'm gonna go the other way so that we can go to the hot spring or pool or whatever you want to call it. Refill our water without having to drink our bottle. It's a very handy thing to have. Oh, you're a dick. Whatever, we'll get a free heal too when we walk in the water. I'm just glad not to see any more bats. What is our money at now with us dying again? Yeah, just barely over 100 still. Who be expected, I guess. We were at, I feel like we were at around 120, died, went down to 90-ish. Got back up to 100-something, died again. <laughs> like, oof. You gonna drop me anything good? 
can upgrade the knife. We're not going to. But we are going to switch back to the dagger. Really hoping to get some repair powder from one of these two. You're a dick. Is the other creature in here a bat? No, it's a dasher. We can deal with him real quick. Item. Antidote. Yeah, we don't have any repair powder. And our good knife's about to break. Uh, <laughs> Like, do I want to use the tram oil? So far, the tram oil has been so rare for us, man, that I don't know. Screw it. Tram can be used now. Let's go. Take the tram. Go to the B side of the dungeon. Maybe we should have done this, like, on the top floor first. I don't remember, though. I think it's just more chests, right? More chests and more enemies? I don't think it's actually, like... Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't see anything, like, we can actually pick up here. Like, Atlas or whatever you want to call it. Just more stuff for us. Maybe, like, more good stuff? Better stuff? I still don't understand what the stamina thing is. Maybe... Hmm, no, I don't know. Are there any enemies in here? I'm pretty sure whenever we went... Ah, uh, you're a mimic. I'm pretty sure whenever we went through one of these things before, there was... Enemies. Maybe this is a whole, like, mimic dungeon. How much damage does the mimic do? This is definitely the strongest enemy we've dealt with yet. Oh god, we're about to break again. Um, okay. Weapon. You have a tiny bit left. Switch to you. Okay. I'm gonna switch weapons back to the dagger, because the dagger hasn't been upgraded. So worst case scenario, it's reset back to where it is. Not that big of a deal. Since it's not showing any enemies on the map. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can say, I think we'll just try and collect as many chests as we can. can and then just GTFO. Are they all mimics though? My God. I would love to kill these things. Imagine they'd be useful in some way. Drops or whatever. Wind gem, that's cool, okay. Really? With another hydrate? You got it. Lele attack just redeemed hydrate. I brought up the root beer because I thought I was going to have to water it down more. Because there's a fair bit more in it than I normally put in it of the, the rum because I was just trying to get rid of it. But for whatever reason, the rum tastes better now than it did to me before. So, like, I actually don't feel the need to as much. That's fine. I'll just put the root beer in the fridge and have it for another drink later. Oh, Mimic. Bye, Mimic. Um, I am not chugging. Chugging is not an option. Can you put, like, gems in here, too? You can. So we do have enough now if we wanted to upgrade this. What do you need? Ice, thunder, wind, and fish. Ice, thunder, wind, fish. Ice, thunder, wind, fish. Okay, sea killer, I'm assuming does fish. Yes. What do you do? Oh wow, you give a lot to those other things, but we don't actually need those other things right now. You don't do any ice or thunder or anything, do you? You do fire, but no, we need ice, thunder, wind. Um, you definitely need some of your base stats upgraded too, so we might as well do that. And then... Upgrade. 
Now we just gotta be really careful not to let this stupid thing break. I'll cry. <laughs> It'd be such a bad time. I'm not even gonna pull it out. I'm just keeping, even though I just upgraded it, I'm just keeping my, my dagger out. Damn it, dude. Jack too, hell yeah, man. This game isn't like super, super long. I mean, it depends on us, of course, you know, how much time we spend exploring, grinding, etc. But on average, what does the power up powder do? On average, it's only like 40-ish hours. Unconditionally powers up a weapon's grade. Okay, unconditionally. So can that take us past level five? I'm assuming not, but I don't know. What's the mellow banana? Is that just food? We've gotten a couple of them now. Covers HP, but makes you feel thirsty. Oh. Okay. I'm wondering if there's another use for, ooh. I'm wondering if there's another use for like foods. Like if you can, I don't think there's cooking, but maybe crafting or something at some point. Um, do we just use the exit powder? I guess we just use exit powder to get out of here. We have to fix our weapons. Sadly, we didn't pick up any new weapons, didn't fi pick up any repair powder. So there's nothing else we can really do right now in this dungeon. Kind of have to just go back to the old man and uh, repair our stuff that way. I mean, I guess we can go ahead and go down to the next floor. I don't feel confident in our ability to win it especially since the sage spirit whatever you want to call them specifically told us like the ones below this get much harder but like we need to unlock more stuff more people more buildings etc um wind wind was one of the things that we needed powered up. So can we have more than one active? No, okay. This one does fire, which we don't need fire. We don't do anything on this screen. That's fine. Okay. Well, you need wind to level up, so let's go ahead and give you that. I don't think it's going to matter right now, because I don't think the gems we're getting are going to give us enough of a level up. Oh, shoot. Did I... Did I repair it? I did, but I forgot to talk to him again to get the extra repair powder and crap. Uh, so, we have regular water. The old man gives us, like, the tasty water whenever we talk to him. So I'm wondering, will he still give it to us even though we have regular water? My guess is yes. He did. Either that or we already had one and I'm just... I didn't see it. But either way, whatever. Our water's now full. You like the Dark Cloud game, so it's fun to watch. You never got to beat them, so it's cool to see. Plus, with your new schedule, this is the mainstream you'll get to watch regularly. I feel it, man. Wait, does that mean... Are you going to not be able to do game nights anymore? Or are you still going to be good for, for game nights? Because I'm guessing... It sounds like you're going to be working mornings. Like, you're not going to be able to stay up as late? I'd hate to see you go, but I understand your job's more important than, <laughs> than game night. <laughs> so if you got to, you got to. Okay, basement 6. B6? Um, I mean, normally that stands for basement, right? I don't, I don't know what else it would stand for. Is the kitty again! Hello, kitty! Is this... Is this Dran... Or Darn, or Dorn, or whatever this, the, the thing that we're looking for is. The inmates will be good. Mondays you'll probably be back and forth on. Okay, okay. Does your, like, schedule vary on Mondays or Tuesdays or something like that? I'm just curious why, like, back and forth for Mondays. Noodle, hello. Welcome back from your nap, love. More road. Okay, I mean... It'll be nice to be able to put more road out there. You eepy? You always eepy. 
What did we just get? Oh, if we move it here, maybe it'll move it on the other screen. We can hold 60 weapons? Anyway, sorry. Uh, no, so what, what did we just pick up? This is wind based damage. Blizzard gem, okay. Some more just like elemental. Get wrecked. More tasty water. I do like me some water. Stops me from dying, which is always handy. Renee, okay. New person. People are handy to have, but creepy dude. He hope it's not the dude that put his junk on the computer of one of our stores. He gave that girl a vape as well. Wait a second. He didn't start working where I work, did he? Because, like, what would be the chances of that? But I really hope not. Dagger's ready to upgrade. I don't think it's worth it, though, to upgrade the dagger. Money, money. Oh no, I thought I could get him before he hit us. Dick, okay. All right, daggers done. <laughs> Bless me, sorry. All right, equip the Chris knife. Uh, I mean, we might as well equip this in the meantime. I just need to remember to try to take it off. That does increase the attack by a fair bit. Do you need attack to upgrade? Oh, no, 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 no. To build up, I mean? You do. Okay. Yeah, so we, we'll definitely keep that equipped for now. Don't know where he works. You know his name, though? You can DM it to myself or Lily or whatever. I can't remember his name off the top of my head to be honest with you but if I see it I'm pretty sure I'd remember it Lili probably remembers it better than I do you'll just be getting up at six ish I'm sure some Mondays I'll just be beating fair 100% fair dude yeah <gasps> we didn't get poisoned we got hit by a bat and we didn't get poisoned that is amazing happy days we do need some heals though. Do we have a hot spring around here? Doesn't look like there's one on this level at all. It's fine, we have a bunch of food. We'll just eat, eat some cheese. They're different guys, okay. Imagine though if it wasn't, that would have been wild. Kappa, what's up man? Welcome my guy, how you been? Oh shit, Mimic. <laughs> I stopped paying attention for a second because I was like, ah, it's fine. It's just a chest. And so far, we had only seen mimics in the the special rooms. That mimic was a lot easier to kill. So those, like, B-sides of the dungeon, they must be a lot more powerful than whatever the base level of the dungeon is. My house acquired. That's actually pretty sick. Hopefully, we can store some junk that we don't want to be carrying there. What I really want, though, is still the old gaffer. Because I'm pretty sure he's the shop. But I don't know if his buggy is what we need. Or if we need, like, his house. Man, that attack upgrade's huge. Maybe that mimic wasn't weaker. Maybe it's just because we got the attack upgrade on our, on our dagger from equipping the fire rune. What are you? More fence? Okay, pretty much every house needs a fence attached, so that's cool. I'm happy to have that. We missed a couple of enemies. Mm, screw it. I'll go for the full clear. We're doing decent. Do we have repair powder still? Yeah, we still have a repair powder too, so. I don't think we have anything else to equip, right? We didn't pick anything up. No. Didn't think so, but kind of stupid, so you never know. Getting thirsty. Need water. We have water. That's not a problem. We'll drink the, uh... I guess we'll drink the regular water. Oh, that's still... 
completely filled up our thirst. That's wild. Doing well, hope everyone is good tonight. Yeah, dude. I mean, I guess I can't speak for everyone, but I'm doing pretty well. As far as I know, Noodle and everyone's doing well as well. Ah, oh, of course you would poison me. Do I still have antidote? Pretty tired, but that's normal for all of us. <laughs> Honestly. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Or to you. I don't know if you celebrate in any way or anything, but still. If you do have a, uh, a partner, I hope you guys had a good afternoon. Or something fun planned for later, you know? Whatever the case may be. Got stuck again. Or being able to kill those statues in two hits is huge. I didn't think about it, but yeah, a attack upgrade is possibly... If it's going to make that big of a difference, an attack upgrade might even be better than an endurance upgrade. Because we just have to swing less times to kill things. And the less times we're hitting things, the less damage our weapons are taking. Bench, okay. Decorations are nice. Although it might be a piece to a house, not a decoration, now that I think about it. Hey, and the windmill blade, sick. So we can finish the windmill, finally. Cool. Oh, Mimic. Oh, that Mimic hurt. Please don't die. Oh, my God. I didn't realize how low on health we were. Uh, We have plenty of thirst right now. No, we don't. Holy crap. Okay. That banana takes a lot more thirst than I thought it did. Also, not worth risking our weapon breaking. So I'm just going to fix that right now. I'd rather use the repair powder. We get one for free from the old man anyways. So unless this last chest isn't a mimic, which it was, then I guess we could have... Oh my god, bro, why can I not lock on to him? Thank you. Anyways, <laughs> then I guess we could have uh, taken two repair powder into the next level. But it was a mimic anyways, so it doesn't matter. Alright, we're gonna unlock the next level. Then we're gonna go back up top. I really like how short the dungeons are, like each individual level of the dungeons. I kind of hope that stays a thing. I wouldn't mind a bigger one every once in a while, I guess. But it's nice for... This would have been a really good game for, like, on the go, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. You know, like, on the PSP or something. Because each dungeon only takes, like, ten minutes to run through. If you do the B-side, I guess it would take a little bit longer, but you're still talking, like, under a half hour per dungeon. So it'd be a great thing for, like, just wasting a, a little bit of time real quick and then hopping back into whatever you need to do. Okay, so we got my house. Now, God, I smell smoke. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, the gaffer's buggy, sick, okay. I was hoping the gaffer's buggy didn't need, like, wasn't a, a piece of furniture for a house. I was really hoping it was just a house, basically. Do I want you here? Actually, you know what? I want you... Famous last words. Hush you. I smell smoke. It's probably just somebody using, like, a wood-burning stove or something. Probably. But you never know around here, man. There's so many fires and crap. Plus, I had a house catch fire when I was younger, so I always worry because of that, too. And it's just bleh. Anyways, odd gaffer. There we go. So now, hopefully, we'll be able to actually buy stuff from you. And then Renee. Oh, that's my mother. Okay, can I put her in my house? Shaggy animal raised with care and a cute little one with a cute little bell. So I think those are both animals. Is this a barrel? Okay, so I don't have whatever you need yet. For you, you want a bench? Give you a bench and give you that. What's this? Smells sweet. Filled with goods sold by Odd Gaffer? No. I mean, I don't think chimneys smell sweet. What would that be? 
Apparently, I know what it is. That's why I'm so confused. Premium Age Spirits? Round one thing. Something's in it. No. Normally, like, whenever... I thought whenever it told you what something actually was, like this, you know, whenever you can see it, I thought that meant that you had it unlocked already. But... This is all the stuff I have. I mean, it's not upstairs storage, is it? No. It's not a chimney. It doesn't even look like one. It's not supplies. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, oh, shoot. Actually, I still need to place my house. Okay. So the gaffer's house, I think, might be smaller. The other ones, I kind of want the road to continue over here. Hmm, the gaffer might need to go somewhere else. Maybe he can go, like, on the other side of the pond. Shoot, I did it again. I keep meaning to press X to move, and then I press the wrong one, and it's bleh. Uh, where'd he go? Gaffer's buggy. I wish I could put a road in front of his thing there. I guess since it is nice and centered, though, I could just put it, like, here. Kind of looks... That looks okay, I think. It's okay, some neighbor's probably making some crack on the good old wood oven. Yeah, you know. As you do, of course. Okay, we did get more road. We can finally finish the road here. And then can have the road on the other side. And I'm thinking, like, the road will just wrap around the old gaffer and then go wherever it needs to go from there, maybe? Do we have more river? We do. Will the river connect to the pond? Sit. Bro. Will it not connect to the pond? That's wild. Okay. So then maybe I'll have the river, like, cut down this way. In that case, though, wait, how thick are these? Okay, they're only too wide, too. How thick are you? Two by two. Hmm. Because houses won't actually fit over here. But the gaffer's buggy will. I don't know. For now, I'm going to leave the gaffer over here, but I think there's a decent chance we find a non-house thing to go over here, because otherwise their stairs are going to go, like, straight into the river, which just doesn't make a ton of sense. Also, don't get why we can't put anything up here. This is, like, some premium land, you know, and it's just completely blocked off. Anyways, uh, okay, that's everything. We have some stuff that we placed now, some new things. So we can go here... I don't know if this actually does anything for us, but we completed it, though. Right? I think we did. Yeah, small windmill. Hmm. Oh, whatever. And then there's our house. Some bread. Love me some bread. We have an upstairs and a downstairs. I'm just hoping we have storage, man. That's all I want. Stream, you're alright. Oh, good. Don't worry me anymore, please. You're going to that cave lately, aren't you? Just don't do anything dangerous, alright? Hmm, I'll think about it. How do you want the town rebuilt, Mom? See, it'd be lovely if the morning sun would come in from the upstairs window and wake me up. So that probably means they want to face a certain direction. But what happened when it's done? Do you ever think the two of us living here alone is a bit lonely? Uh, it's your own house stream. Our house had a chimney and it had a storage room. Don't you remember what your own house was like? Wait. So does that mean I need to put a chimney and a storage room in here still? I really can't 
Ah. Uh, let's hope when we got our own house, we'd be able to do something, man. I mean, okay, that was just the upstairs. Maybe there's something different downstairs. There's also... Still... Yeah, the chimney and storage area that I guess we need to add. There we go. So now we have everything but the people. Uh, okay. Select walking mode. So what's this room? Down here at the bottom. Oh! Okay, it's like a stable. So whatever whatever animals we put in, this is probably where they end up living at. That makes sense. Oh. And now that I see, like, talking to mom told us that, hey, we need the, the chimney and whatnot up there, I guess just talking to the villagers tells us what all they need in their house. Which, fair. Some repair powder. Really wish I would have talked to the old man before grabbing that, but... There's really nothing we can do in our own house, huh? Go to the dungeon. Don't forget to take along something. You're beaten inside a dungeon and don't have an ally and stand in powder. You pay half your money to return to the surface. So I was alright. That is all you lose. It's not that big of a deal. Damn. Okay. Well, we can actually start spending our money now, though. So, like, it won't be as bad, I think. Unless, well, I mean, I guess we might be saving up for something. And in that case, it would really suck. Okay, we need to repair you. And then we might as well... Okay, we don't have the repair powder. Once we get some more from the old man, we might as well repair you too. And then your house isn't finished yet, so we didn't unlock the event. I don't see any new chests outside. We do have the old gaffer over here, though. Odd gaffer, not old, whatever. Hi, stream. This is Odd Gaffer's item shop. Come by any time. How would you like me to rebuild the town? Well, the shop needs houses around it to do good business. That's fair. Up here, fishing points are the points the water fairy rewards you with returning fish to the water. Moreover, the water fairy will exchange those points for precious items. Oh, okay. Now that's some useful info, isn't it? Yeah, how do I... Let me know how to rebuild your house. So could you help me? Of course. What we need for a shop are goods and a sign. Put the sign on the buggy's roof and the goods on the carpet so that they won't get soiled. Hmm. Okay. Get an attachment? What's more? It'll be an attachment that can power up the attribute that the defeated monster was vulnerable to. Clever way to do it is to use the items to defeat monsters when you need attachments for your weapons. It's a good rule of thumb. So, do you need any bombs? I would love to buy some stuff, but it doesn't seem like I can until either your shop is fully complete or you just need more time. Luffy Donut. I'm assuming that's just, like, really good food? No. Yes. Ah! It's my favorite food. Okay. Eat. Bro, that increased our defense by seven? How can we get more of those, please and thank you? That was amazing. Okay. So you need... I don't know what you need yet. We probably have to unlock Paige first. Now you probably go here. Hmm. So we still need a sign. Damn, my defense must be level 500 million for real, though, dude. I love donuts. I'm a, I'm, I try not to eat too many sweets, because I just try not to eat too much sugar. But donuts and pie are, like, my two weak spots, man. I love donuts. I love pie. I'm also a big fan of cookies. But I don't eat that many. Lily buys them all the time, and I'll eat them whenever she does, of course. Every once in a while, I'll buy some as well, but it's pretty rare for me. Okay. No sign, sadly. I was hoping to get this dude up and running now. I'd rather him be up and running than anybody else. Speak of the devil. Hello, Lily. Lily Drink for just you. Redeemed hydrate. I like to share. Nothing wrong with that, dude. I appreciate the cookies. 
Because they are good. It's just not a weak spot for me like donuts and uh, pie is. <laughs> Love me some good pie. Especially cream pies. Cream pies are my favorite kind of pie. Like a nice chocolate cream pie, you know? Mmm. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. <laughs> oh. Seriously, though, I forget the name of them. Is it Marie Caliander? Might be Marie Caliander that makes them. Somebody else does, too. Um, but they're like chocolate cream pies. I think they're like Hershey's chocolate cream pies or something. Anyways, they're really freaking good, man. I love those things. Might as well drink the water because why not? Um, he'll give us more anyways. Repair powder. Are you fully repaired? Let's use the other menu. That might be fully repaired already. No, the regular dagger was fully repaired. Okay, repair you. And then we got a couple things when we were running around. Do we have everything we need? Customize. We got speed one. Literally adds one extra speed. Um... Or whatever. Upgrade it. I don't really care. We use the item, but whatever. Okay, so you're up to plus two, which is good. Technically, that means you need repair it again, but whenever the max increases the durability, I wish, like, the, the current durability went up by the same amount. I understand if it doesn't want to reset the durability to max, but if it raises durability by three, I wish it would raise current durability by three. That would, one, just make sense to me, and two, be very helpful. All right, we only have eight minutes left, but I'm going to try to get through another dungeon real quick. Real question is, do we want to try to go through the next floor, or do we want to... I mean, it seems like a smaller floor with only four. We might need to grind one of these lower floors just for a weapon, though, at some point. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Didn't expect to see the old man again. Seems like he got the hang of it. Now for the next step. I would lecture you on special areas in the dungeon. First, the back floor. Oh, that's what it's called. Okay. Each dungeon has floors that have back floors, and the way to enter differs for each dungeon. You can figure it out. Back floors have valuable treasures, but the monsters there are stronger. There's a higher risk, but also higher reward. You should give it a shot at least once. There are also special floors that are called limited zones. Okay, this I don't know. Special ceiling magic is cast there, so some of your normal actions are disabled. What actions are limited depends on the type of limited zone. Once you enter the limited zone, it's important to figure out what is and isn't limited. That's it, got it? Well, if not, you'll get the hang of it as soon as you go along. Now I'll let you go. It'll get even harder after this. Be careful. So long. So... What he's saying is, you may not be able to eat. Using a weapon reduces ABS. Weapons can't be changed. They can't be changed? Okay, well, you have no ABS anyways. So, like, it's fine, I guess? As long as we don't run out of durability, that would be a major problem. Hopefully there's not too many monsters on this floor to deal with. Holy sh... What are you? Bro, I'm dead. <laughs> what? Did he, like, smoosh me? How did I die so quick? I saw, like, he released that gas or whatever. And then it said something about me being in a a gooey state. Wink. Um, and then I don't know what happened. And then I just died. That was wild. Is it? So the 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 layout of the floor is randomized each time. Obviously, is the limited whatever is that randomized or is it going to be the same? Okay, it seems to be the same. Master Jacket, you're new. Trying to bait you into attacking? 
There you go. You're not that bad. Okay. I can deal with the regular enemies at least. Stamina drink. I still don't know what the stamina does. Can you attack me in here? You cannot. This is a safe zone. Get wrecked. Ah, oh, I still got poisoned, you dick. Okay, item. Should have an antidote, antidote, antidote somewhere around here. Please don't be a mimic. I need stuff. Potato cake. I mean, that's fine. Would have much rather had a weapon. I'm assuming potato cakes are just a very filling food. Oh no, it's more fish bait. Well, I still don't have a fishing pole. Hopefully once we unlock the merchant, we'll be able to buy a fishing pole. Uh, keep following the left wall actually. Oh, well, you're basic as hell, huh? Okay, this sounds like another one of the big dudes, I think. Yeah. Oh. Come here, skeleton soldier. I'll deal with you. You're whatever. I felt like I just lagged out in an MMO there. That was weird. Oh my god. Okay, so whenever he dies, he does like a dive bomb on us. That's what happened. More fish bait. Uh, we're actually, we're doing okay, health-wise. And we'll be basically passing the hot springs. We can get a free heal there. Is it just me, or does this game... S yes, it definitely does. It has some weird texture warping. If you look at, like, the ground in front of us whenever we're walking around. That was a huge thing on, like, the PS2, but I feel like I didn't... Don't see it as much on the PS... Or, I'm sorry, a huge thing on the PS1. I feel like I don't see it all that often on the PS2. Now I'm, like, scared of enemies, man. Because, like, I don't know. Are they going to do something weird whenever they die? I'm just hoping to get the sign. That's all I really want is a sign. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect timing, game. Very much appreciated. So now, even if I die, I don't care at this point. As long as I don't break my knife. Because now we can presumably get the shop up and running. Maybe buy a fishing pole. And then work toward getting that presumably pretty powerful weapon from the fishing game. Candy box. Okay, that'll probably be for the, the dude that likes sweets. And another lamp. Okay, I mean, a lot of houses seem to need lamps, so... It's fair. Oh my god. Oh, I missed. GG me. Oh, there's another one. Bro, why, why can't I hit you? Oh my god. Hit him! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I guess I should have just did a lunge attack. I hate doing them. They eat up so much durability. And of course, you have to let them charge and everything too, which is annoying. Okay, we can't get into the back rooms of this one. Uh, it's another one of you dudes. What's my health at? 63? Okay. Should be fine, actually. Hold on, I'm going to ignore you for a second. Oh, no. <gasps> you cast poison too? Wait, there's a skeleton door here? Maybe you can get them on floors where there aren't actually things at. I don't know. Okay. You need to be careful of big dude. Okay. Yeah. I'm so glad we didn't die. I mean, again, it's fine, I guess, if we do. 
But I'm not trying to either, obviously. Okay, we're already poisoned, so we don't really have to worry about the bat all that much. I think this is the... Is this the last sphere, or do we have one more? Atla, sorry. A llama? Bruh. I think the llama is one of our friends. From my house. Okay, we can't go into the back room. We don't have the thing for it. Nor do I think we really want to, to be honest. Oh, do we have... I know we can't change weapons, but do we have anything else we can equip to you? No. Okay. That's fine. Um... Okay, there is still a little bit that we haven't explored over there. The way down, and then I see the skeleton key door now. Somehow missed it earlier. We'll take the free heal and a free drink on our way over. Very small detour off to the side for that. I really wish the hot spring cured poison too, but I guess it would be too powerful at that point. Don't believe we have any more antidote. How are you still here, Levi? Are you just like listening hydrate. while you're working or something? Did I hear drink? You heard drink. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair. I was like, I know your break has to be up by now. Yeah, I appreciate you being here, though. Thank you, dude. Okay. Skeleton door. Hopefully don't die to an Opar or whatever's going to be on the other side of this. Get the shop up and running. And all in all, I'd say that's a pretty productive day. Oh, that's weird. Empty? And literally the only thing in here was a magical crystal. The magical crystal just tells us where everything is. It's a it's a compass from the Legend of Zelda. So that was <laughs> that was a completely useless detour. Oh well. But you haven't been able to go on your break yet? Why not, dude? Quit whatever the hell you're doing and go to break. Fuck that. <laughs> your shift is done in like not even an hour, man. Yeah, screw all that, dude. That sounds terrible. Uh, okay. We are going to go deal with the dude real quick. I just want to take a look at the next floor. To see, because if it's just another boss floor. Since the boss floors are literally just rhythm games. I wouldn't mind finishing that real quick. But, uh, you do have one orb. And now we'll save that for next time. Whatever it is. Instead, we'll come to the other boss floor and see if you can refight bosses. <laughs> I imagine no. Yeah, okay. I didn't figure. Because what would be the point, you know? I guess maybe if they had some sort of drop, but then it would just make farming drops from things too easy. So, yeah. Completely fair. I like the town theme is good. All right. Uh where is llama? Streams llama, important livestock. Let's go. Give me my llama. And then dude wants a candy box in his house, so we should get some sort of event for him now. And Gaffer wanted a sign, so event for him too. Hell yeah, dude. So this feels like pretty good progress to me. I don't know, man. We'll start at our house. I just want to see my llama. Oh, and we can collect bread. Whatever. Hello, llama. <laughs> blah. <laughs> Same. Also, blah. <laughs> Let's go talk to the candy dude. We got his house all fixed up for him now. As good as it was before he got sucked into the ball. <laughs> uh, don't let your weapons break. Yes, mom. Or, wait, is Renee mom? I think so. Whoever you are, I know. I get how weapons work. I'm just stupid. Got water. Mother crap. Okay. Inside. What kind of event do we get? That'll be me in like two minutes. Wait. 
Oh, you got a little tiny door down there. I wonder what that little tiny door is for. Is it for like a mouse or does he have a cat? Wait, was the event just watching this dude sleep? <laughs> I thought we would get something for the event. Wait, is it just replaying the event again? Huh? Okay. I don't really understand that, but I can't like attack his house, right? No. I could take away the stuff that makes his house complete. Is that an option? Can I move his house? Yeah, yeah, it's still marked as like having an event. Oh no, we can't remove stuff until the event's done, I guess. We might not be able to remove stuff ever, yeah. Okay, after it's like fully complete, we just can't move it. Which I mean that makes sense. You can cheese stuff any nah, cheese stuff if you could, I imagine. How's this, Gaffer? It's beautiful. Even better than before the Calamity. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's not good. I lied. Thanks for waiting. Thanks to you, I can at least reopen my shop. It's not well stocked yet, but I can give you excellent service. Come visit my shop anytime. Bro, what do you think I'm here for? Gib stuff. It's finished? Thanks to you, I was able to reopen. So how about it? Do you want to buy anything? Yes. Okay, so I can sell you stuff too, right? Speedy selling? Sell your items? Change mine? Oh? Oh! So do we normally have to like drag it over or something maybe? I don't know. Anyways, um... Is these items... Oh wait. I don't know if these items stack or not. I really don't like the bananas. I'll get rid of the banana. Can I sort from here? I can. We can only hold 50 things, so we don't want to keep a hold of too much. How much do knives sell for? Oh. Can I sell the basic dagger? No. Okay, whatever. Uh, what do you sell? Revive from dying conditions. That's pretty sick. I like that. You do sell antidote. Happy about that. How much? 80. It's not cheap. You do sell all of the basic attachments, it seems like. Last quick movement inside dungeons breaks after a while. Interesting. Um, Gold bullion? Item price, no change. Goodbye with extra money. Oh, so if you just need to get rid of money... Okay. So, like, selling it back is still a thousand, I'm guessing. Man, he doesn't sell the fishing pole. I was really hoping he would. Um. Oh, well, shoot. Honestly? Give me a couple of antidotes, because antidotes are super annoying. And then, like... A couple repair powder? Auto repairs weapons about to break? That's handy, but like, you're paying 10 times as much to not have to micromanage quite as much, so. That seems like something maybe much later in the game. Oh shoot, I spent too much, okay. Um, uh, I'll sell you bread. I don't generally need that much food. Cause I really want revival powder. In case we die again. Especially now, like, that the shop is a thing. Dying is much more painful. So how do we get a fishing pole, then? I'll leave. I really thought it would be from here. None of this stuff stacks, really. Weird, because, like... Things seem to stack up here in the active item area. But not down here. Uh, ba -dum, ba -dum. All right. 
Well, I don't see any reason to go into the mayor because he won't give us repair powder since we have so much on us. He won't give us drink because we have drink. He won't give us food because we have food. Same with the antidotes. I should have went to him first. What I should have done. Oh, well, though. And if I go... Your house isn't done yet. I still need to get one more thing for you. I'm going to wait for the next tick a day, which thankfully happened already. And I'm going to check that dude's house again to see if maybe he's awake. It might be like a time-based event. Maybe he's only... Wait, didn't it say something about him liking to look at the stars or something? Maybe we have to wait till nighttime. Time passage is an option, like speedy time passage is an option in the menus. Option. Time progress. Speedy. That's significantly flat. Faster? Faster. I don't think... Besides maybe, like, time-based events and shops, I don't think we're, like, actually timed on how many days we have to get something done. So it's probably fine to have it go fast. All the time. Although, honestly, why wouldn't they just put, like, a time skip option? Instead of the speedy one. Like, you have your house, you know? Why don't you just, like, go to the bed in your house, set an alarm, and then, yeah. Um. Oh, shoot. Did I forget to write it down? It was, like, 647 or something like that. Something around there. Yeah, I probably forgot to write it. My bad. <laughs> ah, he's awake! Did I even sign my name in the book? I probably forgot to do everything. Hey, stream, I was in the middle of taking a bath. How about joining me in here? I don't think there's room. Thank you, though, man. Thanks to you, I can enjoy a hot bath like this. Let me give you something. <laughs> Wink. Uh, <laughs> take this for now. Many thanks. I appreciate you, Lily. We got some soap. <laughs> From a naked dude in his bath. Also give you the cheese over there. <laughs> Soap and cheese. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait. He has a mouse trap. Why do you have a mouse door in your house if you don't want mice in your... I'm so confused. That's about it then, huh? See ya. Goodbye. Weird dude. <laughs> I think that was all the events we had. Uh, Georama menu, config and assembly. Yeah. No more events. Okay. And does the shop close at night? That's the last thing that I still need to know. Or is it always open? It seems like it's always open. Okay. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we're leaving. It is after nine o'clock. So I think that's going to be all for me tonight, friends. <laughs> Sorry, mine's not working so well. I'll be back tomorrow to play some Baldur's Gate with my brother. So those of you who can be there, I hope to see you there. For everybody else, have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye! I need to save because I forgot to save. I'm saving. Hold on. Save, Lily save, just save. Okay, rate. there we go. Now we're leaving. Goodbye! I'm not chugging. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs>